Hi, everyone watching at home, and welcome back to another episode of Chronicles of Rivera. I am your host, Cole Wolfman, for this homebrew TTRPG. These are all my lovely players who I'm absolutely not going to traumatize today because, uh, you know, they're just going to meet Nick's parents. That's not going to be traumatizing at all. Oh, they're good people. Great. And uh, Herku is totally not going to try to destabilize the local government. Look. Not today. Listen, but it's I might fine. give him I might give him buttons to push. Who knows? Oh please. Let's push all the buttons, why don't we? You don't really need to give buttons. Everyone no. finds them. It's mm-hmm. true. Quite well on their own. Well, <laughs> most people find them quite real. Well quite real. Look, gray, <laughs> gray is a button. Gray is a button. You know what? It's too That's early fair. for this. It's, it's so too early nice. for this. It just it's too <laughs> early for this to be <laughs> It's the evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, on the last episode, the party did uh, enter Nix's hometown of Elanora, and they walked around and found a church to Arcos, and Nix sunk it into the ground while Karina was looking at the temples of her gods, turned around and was anybody's like... Anybody's actually what? told Karina that that's what that temple was, because she was not there the for the temple. Just, <laughs> so Kerku distracted the, hype, the priest, or uh, the builders and the priest, while uh, Nix went sink. Bye. Nix also turned... Nix also turned into a very large hot man. And then Kiriku had a fiddle contest with a man who was much better at the fiddle than him, but he won because the party helped him. Yep. And, that was a chaotic friendship. And, and then the two people with no uh, telepathic abilities tried to intimidate the man with no tongue into talking. <laughs> be fair, we, try, we tried to be friendly at first. You did. I have none. <laughs> Oh. We, we we didn't really clarify who was doing what. <laughs> it's like that scene just like, you it's ready? Like, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, what, are there? what are we doing? It was that scene of the other guys. I thought you said bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> so where we're going to pick up this session is you guys are still at the tavern about to leave. Kiriku has just received a little, little note. He got it out of his pocket. And yep. <sighs> Then, let me actually pull up my notes. And then, yeah, you guys, he went back to the table and you guys are just hanging out now. Right. <laughs> It's like it's been a while or something, guys. Hi. Yeah, I know. I'm like, like there's no my... intro at all. No, like, I was looking for my notes. We're not cutting to like, that. We're just Oh, God. Computer. I I completely spaced on that. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's why everyone was just waiting. It's like... Anyway, announcements. Um, do we, other than our Discord, Lakeside Village, and also where we have a lot of memes and fun stuff like that, as well as LakesideLegends.com, which has all of our VODs and stuff like that. Uh, Laura, do we have any other announcements? Just Dames Grove t-shirts and other things with fantasy fairy tale stuff. And our friends over at um, Monster of the Week shop. They've got some spooky stuff on their store right now. They're fun. And my beanie's in the wash because I I wore it in the rain and it was cozy. What's rain? It's like 90 degrees here. I hate my life. It It was a couple days ago. It's been really hot too. Since he did actually want to sponsor one episode, uh, if you are in the market for scale mail or chain mail, our dear friend Tarvel the Ringwraith has a shop, Tarvel's Trinkets, where he uh, makes chain mail and scale mail for folks. So he's good work. a sponsor. He does very good work. Amazing. Good boy. He does very good work. He's a good lad. You can see uh, his stuff on Instagram and TikTok. They're really yes, cool. at uh, Tarvel the Ringwraith, because... He's Tarvel the Nazgul as his username on everything, but his actual thing is Tarvel the Ring Rings, which is not confusing at all. But so with that, we'll see you guys after the opening. And then, 
And now we can get to the actual stuff because you know it's been a while since we played this and Cole just. So we were going to the market. That's yeah, what we. Well, at least that's what the. Right? I was looking for my note because I know Care showed Karina the note, and I was like, "What did it say?" Oh yeah, that's what it mm-hmm. said. Okay, got I don't you. Remember a note? I don't know if that was. Uh, it was while well, it fair. was while well, Care and Karina were up at the bar right at the very yeah. end, and oh. he showed Karina what it said. I don't know if we've told the party yet, but... Uh, I think we I, were moving back to do that and yeah. maybe had just sat down to do that. I never know if I forget things because it's been a long time. It wasn't relevant to my character or it just didn't straight up come up. <laughs> That's fair. We can start the... Care, would you like to inform everyone? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Care just sits down like, you know, as normal, um, just grabs the, the goblet of wine. Um, oh yeah, we brought drinks, I believe. There. Yeah, and uh, oh, that's not how to type that. There we go. Um, he uh, looks to Karina. Uh, well, um, so just talking to some informants. Um, I got a note of what possibly could be a lead. Um. Admittedly, we don't have to follow this immediately. I know, Nix, you would probably like to see your parents at some point, but... Uh, Be nice. Yeah. Um, I, changed, I changed my voice because I changed what Nix looks like. I'll get, I'll get it. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> guys, it's been a while. No, it's yeah, been a hot minute, guys. I think the last time we played, I was six, so I don't even know what We've, voice I was using. A few of us have been a little busy. <laughs> yeah. That's why we pre record so we can keep you on a schedule. Uh-huh. You guys are on a schedule. We are not. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyways, so uh, essentially, there's money moving in the town. We just have to find the point of contact and uh, we can take a little bit of a lead in the uh, marketplace. I've got some keywords to work with for ourselves and mayhaps get us in contact with the lead. So. Gotcha. Okay. But at the Um, moment, I think priority should be family for you. Would be nice. It's been uh, months since I've been back. Yeah. And considering the first thing, we, we haven't really slowed down since we got into town. Mind you, it's only been a day, Not an afternoon. A, day. Yeah. <laughs> a couple hours. Um, it's been a few hours. We also need to talk about what happened because a couple of people were not actually present. Which time? When Nix, the temple. Oh, right. Nix. Um. Yeah. So uh, that wasn't here before um very new to the city um and we kind of figured out it was related to arcos and other demonic gods creatures um and uh i decided it shouldn't be there anymore so i sunk it arcos and his cronies are in not not in need of a temple not here. Not anywhere. A new thing you can do? Just the same the entire That was building. pretty impressive. I, I, I turned around and it was suddenly gone, so... Yeah, a uh, bit of a newer spell, well, one I haven't used here. Um, but, yeah, I can... I see possibilities with that. Yeah, can be used other ways. It's a new new one for me, but uh, um, yeah, I don't think people will sink that fast like that. Mm. I get had a lot to do with the fact that it was a giant building. So, um, but if the people were in the building and then we sink the building, yeah, we tried to keep that from happening. We're- Right. No, no, no. I understand that. Thinking for future. It's fine. <laughs> At least I'm not in. Anyways. Um, for music. As, uh, 
as it happens, I'm, are we wanting to spend an evening here? Are we going to see Nix's parents? Are we? I think we look- have time to see Nix's parents at least. Is that late in the day? What, probably mid afternoon at latest? Mid, that- it's like late afternoon at this point. Okay. Like 4 p.m. ish. Yeah, it'd be nice. Do we have any other business here? Mm. Have oh. people eaten sufficiently? Had their drinks? I have. Much yeah. as I want to today. Bill, everyone's moment. eyes turning and looking at Fell. <laughs> <laughs> pointedly not looking at all of that point. <laughs> it's just she's just in her own little world. <laughs> in my own little corner. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the song gets stuck on my head. So yeah, easy. don't start that. No, no, <laughs> sir. What the heck is wrong with you? My own little corner That's of the, the world. One song. The one song. I'm um, glad okay. I, I don't that's, know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's the only one song you're lucky. <laughs> there are others, but out of that show, that's the one yeah, that like. That's fair. It's like I got my own little um, Baldur's Gate worm in my head. It's a new spell like, called Gear Worm. There's water. <laughs> yeah, she'll just be like she kind of senses that people are kind of looking at her, so she's like absentmindedly like glass water drinking. Y'all leave me alone. <laughs> Put it down as she's doing her stuff until we got move. What is Fell doing right now? Is she like drawing or doing something? Um, she is. Uh, she's got her little journal out. She's had the glass of water, and she's just kind of playing with different uh symbols, like kind of like the thieves stuff that she saw. And she's just trying different things to see if she, her eyes will pick up on them being words. Mm-hmm. Like she's just, she's just kind of experimenting. So. You have an interest in learning thieves, Kent? Um, could be useful. I found it quite useful over the years. I'd be happy to lend you a hand. Mm, sure. Um, I, um, I think I can't remember. If she saw she saw the note. Mm-hmm. She actually tried to read it. She tried to read it. Yeah. So like, I think that's what she was. She, she like a, saw that note. So just trying to, I don't know, play around, see what I can figure it out on my on my own for now. I don't want to take you guys away from anything. I'm just doing this. Kara will take the note and uh, we'll write the key for the first word above it and just say, well, if you'd like a little bit of a puzzle, you can try working that out. Is it, does it function like a normal language or? No. Oh. Well, she'll take the, the puzzle and she'll just kind of start working at it, but you can tell she's real, she's relying too much on her, her new abilities. <laughs> Um, so it's going to take her a bit, but that's, that's what she's, she'll work on. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, um, in that case, Nix, lead on. Those are ready. I'll take you. Um, yeah. Start walking out towards their home. I have a belt full of gold. I'm very happy. Like- reticent to go to her parents or is this like just... I don't know. Like that means apprehensive? Sense. Yeah. Not really. Okay. Um, I was just curious. I'm like... Um, it, it, if anything, you get a bit of like unsure what you guys are going to do kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing my crazy friends over to my parents' house. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need to tell them about her brother. Hey, speak for yourselves, they, okay? <laughs> they do yeah. need to tell their parents about their brother, but... <laughs> Yeah. All right. How would they know? How would they know? How would they, How they, would know? they know? We'll see. So, 
Hicks leads you guys like out of the main part of the town towards like the farm areas. They pass a couple farms and then they see a farm with a lot of big cattle kind of roaming around. And you see a fairly large for an elf size man, a moon elf, just like mess up, sitting down on us on a barrel. Looks like he's been working all day and he just starts drinking water from a jug. Looks kind of similar to Nix's traditional, like their form that they like to be in most of the time. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit stockier. And he just like, and he like starts squinting towards Nix. Like he's trying to figure out if it's his kid or not. He's like, ah, Nix. Hi. You're home. Yeah, I am. Uh how are you guys? How's how's mom? Oh, she's at the market. I'm just finishing up for the day. Um, we were all friends. I did. Um, your brother's yeah. rubbing off on you. I don't know about that, but uh, yeah. And Nix will like introduce everyone in turn. Um, looks up a credo. Well, you're a big one. That's what they say. Yeah, you're a, well, you're a big one. Keeping, keeping my child safe. She does it pretty well. Or they do it pretty well on their own, but I'm trying. It never hurts to have a wall to stand behind. I'm very good at being that, if they'll stay behind me. <laughs> well. Don't be shy, come on into the house so I can just finish it up. Nix, put up the table, I guess. Oh. And he gets up and makes like seven dad noises as he gets up off the barrel. <laughs> Which form is Nix in right now? Sorry. Uh, and I apologize boy. about the mispronouns. I uh, was trying to remember. I believe uh, Col- they're Coltar form, correct? Yeah. yeah okay, like I was wondering if Col- it was Col- still form. still that. Ma- Matt's presenting yeah. Coltar form. I, I, I knew it was male, but I couldn't remember which what it was. So, giant Viking man. <laughs> and then, so he just starts gathering up his stuff, bringing his uh, animals into their stables and stuff. And then he just comes back inside, completely covered in dirt, and just it's dirt everywhere. And he's like, "Hey, so you, my wife will be home soon. She's more of a cook than me. Uh, Nixie's more of a cook than me, frankly." It's, it's a low bar. Uh, I somehow managed to burn water, it seems like. <laughs> so... There's a spell for that. What brings, what brings you home? Um... Uh... <laughs> Wait. A lot and a little. <laughs> so where's, where's Rory? He, he went out to find you. He went out to find me? That's what he said, at least. Don't believe that boy half the time anyway, but... Yeah, when was, yeah, when was the last time you guys heard from him? About the week after you left. Oh. Um. Hmm. So, um. Is this a conversation you'd prefer your mother to be praising for? So you don't have to yeah. repeat it? Yeah. Uh, be- he's just grumbling I- under his breath. <laughs> Well, okay. if we're going to take some time, then I'd love to hear a little bit more about you, sir. Oh, right. Apologies, haven't introduced myself. My name is Illyric. Just uh, used to be a hunter, but now just a simple farmer. Been raising this loud. Tussles mixes hair. I have to reach up to do it. Since they were a wee little baby. It's just fine. You find a little pale skinned baby who you don't really know what it is, and then it starts turning into things, and you're like, okay, this will be fun. As you do. <laughs> hmm. um, yeah. Right, so he, and he's like going through and he's trying to remember the names Karina, Felicity, Gray, Kiriku. <laughs> Close enough. Ray is standing by the door just on the wall edge part and just watching. 
You can make yourself comfortable, lass. There's nothing gonna hurt you out here. And Nyx is like flitting back and forth, getting um, various um, plates and cups and things. Um, after he mentioned, Dad mentioned to kind of start setting the table. So, um, like, lis- half listening to, mostly listening to the conversation while kind of in like a rote habit of um, table setting. It, it's fine, really. You guys can. So have tell a me, seat. how how'd you all meet my child here? Were you following that boy you told us about, the pirate boy? What was this? Soldier. S- soldier. Oh, soldier. Ah, that was it. I showed up here a little while ago looking for you and then left very, very quickly. Gets around. <laughs> Said you something about the, the forest, I don't know, but... Uh, I don't know what that boy is doing. I'm not sure he does either half the time, to be fair. No, I don't think he needs to learn how to tell stories better. He keeps just saying, so there I was, and then trailing off into a story where he never says that where he was in the first place. That is true. That is very true. Hmm, that's a pattern I never noticed. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> is there anything I can help with? Um, no, I think I got it i'm pretty much finished with it but uh no you guys can sit down wait uh be cooking food soonish so oh nix uh, reminds me you found a box of your old dolls you used to play with yeah the little ones you used to make yourself he pulls out some very crudely made like sewn like buttons in the wrong places for eyes dolls <laughs> that's so cute I don't think we need to bring those out. I do. Because I'm memorizing (laughs) all every detail of all of them (laughs) for use later. (laughs) For use Mm. later. Wonderful. Are there any other things from Nix's past that you could show us? If I'm sitting next to Kirku, I straight up elbow him in the side. Like, (laughs) stop it. Oh, we also found your stuffed owl bear from when you were little. Oh, see, now that's cute. And that character just has his hand over his ribs now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, a big shaggy dog also runs in and jumps up to Nyx. It's their family Aww. big wolf hound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Uh, down. Down, Cash. And he puts him down. And he just thinks, well, see, he missed you. He was a puppy when you left. I know, what the heck? Dogs do this thing where they grow, and you've been gone for a few months. Um, the dog yeah. instantly walks up the character and just sticks its nose in his face. Big boys. Big boy. <laughs> oh, lovely, it's wonderful to meet you too, Cash. <laughs> and just starts giving him loves. Yeah, and for once, actually just normal dog. No crazy creature. <laughs> <laughs> for once, just a dog. <laughs> Yeah, Karina just holds her breath to see if it talks. <laughs> when it does it. It's just an Irish wolfhound. It's just a big old Ooh. Irish wolfhound. Those are fun. And Karina just to, to the dog is like, see, if you're a normal animal, I can get along with you. It's fine. <laughs> see, you're wonderful, beautiful. Thank it's you. Can't oh, talk back. Yes. He, he did not answer my question. Where'd you pick up such a group? Um, there's a contract um looking for money and everyone just mostly part of it fair yeah. enough soldier it's... was part of it too but he said something about you killing a king and i was like nix no i did not kill anyone <laughs> that, that kind of fits. Kara just keeps it, just kind of leans back at this point, just, you know, very What's focused it? on did cash. You, did, did, did you think Soldier wouldn't immediately as soon as he went That's Is that everything that happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How well stocked is, like, the firewood and stuff? Very, very. That's why yeah. he keeps his power not very stocked. All right. He just, he just, he just oh, it reminds me of my own adventure in this. God's 
Your water here is delicious. Well, it's water. <clears throat> you want something stronger? I have meats. We have whiskey. Oh, it's fine. A dog and water is all I need right now. Right, <laughs> and at that moment, a uh, moon elf woman walks in with a bunch of stuff tucked under her arms, and she just looks <laughs> up and goes, "Nix!" And she just runs up and gives her son a big hug. <laughs> dropping the food oh. on the table. Oh my god. Oh, I think you went on the floor. No, 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 no. And then she just pulls back. And then she's got a little bit of a glare. Now, why haven't I heard from my child in a few months? Um, I don't have a great way of contacting. It's been busy. And your brother, between the two of you, I'm going to die of old age, and I can't even do that. He is sending. I don't. <clears throat> he should he, be. Wait, he, 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 that little shit. <laughs> she just, she goes, oh, hello. Are you all my child's friends? Yeah. I'm Vidala. Hello, Vidala. As. I see this one's met Cash. I have. He's lovely. I haven't had friends in the form of an animal for a while that also haven't either talked back to me or wanted to eat my face. So it's nice. Right, uh, Nix can talk to animals, that's great. Some, some of them have recently talked when we weren't expecting it, so uh, it's been a weird couple of months. Been adventuring um, a little more than you thought, have you? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Nothing uh, to do with kings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been busy. Um, yeah. Um, Dad said you hadn't seen Roris. Oh, well, he left about a week after you did and said he was going to go join you on your adventures and then we haven't heard from him. Um, yeah, he wasn't telling the truth about that. I assumed he wasn't, but your father's more gullible than I. It's not uh, the smartest knife in the crayon box, if you know what I mean. Got, got that high, high whiz, low in, in. <laughs> Um, Be your mom also has low and high risk. <laughs> uh, of every wisdom caster on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I. So, I have heard from Roris. Um, he's gotten himself in a bit of trouble. What else is new? The yeah. Lyric says as he lights up his pipe. More, more than normal. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> get out of here, Deb. In the group chat. Just trying to help. Just trying to help. <laughs> Just um, yank it off like a band-aid. Just pull it off. <laughs> have, have you guys heard about the Ember Keepers? Is that some kind of new band or something? No. No. Well, um, I better not be that bar dagger off in his idiot group. Definitely not. Well, no. No. Well, <laughs> also, we don't know for sure. Also, just fun fact, I just looked at the stats. The lowest int character in the party is Mix. He's got... And yet Nyx has Thanks. the brain sale most of the time. It's the wisdom. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the high whiz, not the, the intel. But no, just what kind of trouble is your brother in? Um, so we think it's some kind of um fire druid kind of cult. Um, he. I don't know exactly how he got involved with it. He's not part of the cult, but he is a damsel in distress at the moment. 
You can see Ulrich just kind of sit there and your mom starts to work very, but all looks very worried and Ulrich just has his look in his face like... I didn't hear any of that. I'm going to kill my idiot son. <laughs> he's just got that like exasperated dad look when his kid gets into trouble and he's just like... Do you know where he is? <laughs> um, we have ideas. Um, to the, what is it, Southwest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a feeling he's Southwest of here, where those fires have been. I'm going to oh. shoot that boy in the ass and then heal the wound and shoot him again. We have to get him back first. Well... News of my our son being trauma, being taken away aside. Nix, go help your mother cook dinner, please. Okay, sure. She's um, immediately cooking to try to distract herself, but she's like, "Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go help her. And yes, care. So, so you've heard of. You've not heard a thing of the Amber Keepers, no? Not really. What about strange people in town? Aside from us. Oh, there's been a lot uh, lately, especially the new louts in the council. I mean, there's... We've had friends like Hjor, he's been my friend for a while, but Mm -hmm. both Berth and Avia, they're a bit weird, odd. Then there's mm. that new uh, guy who runs the markets. It's like the, in charge of the money in the markets. Geldry is his name, I think. Geldry? Oh, Geldry. Yeah, he's always shaking down the merchants, making them pay extra tithe. And they are, doesn't seem to do shite about it, so. Mm hmm. Seems he's a bit more concerned with it hasn't politics. Mess, hasn't messed with the farms at all, so I'll skin off my nose. Sure, sure. But <clears throat> the market, uh, some of the merchants have been griping about it. So Hior, there's only so much he can do as he's only one voice. Right. <clears throat> Curious. So this Geldry, he's new to town, yes? Uh, no, not him actually. He's uh, oh. he's just taken up as the they just appointed him this new position. He was a little street urchin growing up. Had a lot of got in trouble a lot. Hmm. One time he tried to push Nix off a swing and Nix punched him in the face. Probably deserved it. Um, um. But he's a uh, I loved in the world very recently and he's he's alright he's alright annoying now because of it thinks he, he's a little too big for his purchase. Grey kinda like leans in from her spot by the door is like how did an urchin become someone so important and so wealthy so quickly? Uh, apparently he's related to one of the council. Apparently when Ukbert was promoted to his position he brought his relative, no one knows exactly how they're related, up with him and founded a new position. Mm. And all he does is walk around the merchant's court, they're taking money from them. Mm. Not much of a job. But Ukbeth is the master of war, is he not? And he has the Jarl's ear and is basically in charge of everything that's been happening lately. Mm. So he is mostly out of power, as is Evard. He's doing his best. Hjord, I can't speak for Avid, don't know him very well, but Hjord is my friend and he's been doing his best to s- stop the warmongering, but it's getting worse. Mm. Birth, uh, there's rumors he's trying to raise a militia to go open rebellion, which would be the dumbest decision in the world, especially since we just got done, from what I hear, dealing with shit like that. Oh, really? What have you heard about that? <laughs> uh, we heard that the king got killed, and then the soldier boy came in here and said that uh, he and Nix were involved, and he drowned him without being in water, and I was very confused. 
The boy tells confusing stories. So I can kind of guess that a lot of you are involved if Nix and Soldier Boy were. Soldier Boy. <laughs> All the millennials just being like, hey, I remember that. You! All the Gen Z are like, you mean like the show The Boys? Uh, um, interesting, interesting. Now, I've heard rumors of Geldry, mm. but what is your take on him? He's gotten too big for his britches, you say, but... He's a mouthy little... Well, looks over and he's like, If you say any more swear words, I'm going to slap you across the face. Before I get it from... <laughs> he can't, he, uh, he's a word I'd rather not repeat. Fair and enough. He quite rude, and always scurrying off at weird times. He has to come by our farm to get home, and he doesn't come by till about the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, and but. That's the ranger in me talking. I always tend to track people. It's it's a bit of a problem, really. Yeah. I was actually about to say that might be pretty useful at this point. Um, he, you say he lives beyond this farm? He's got a little, uh, not little. He has a fairly large house in the outskirts of the forest. Mm. Kind of near uh, Nix's house, actually. Hmm. Yeah. And he is usually in town during the days, yes? From what I've seen, and he's so God's damned allowed, you can't, you can't walk five feet without hearing him. Fair enough, so not the see- sneaky sort. Interesting, all right, well, gone during the days, that might prove useful. Ah, curious. Your turn. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You're trying to find out information on this lot. Your best bet is to find Hjor and convince him to tell you. It be hard to listen. It be hard to convince. He doesn't tend to be as open as, well, with his position. Well, you seem like a mouthy one, so you seem like you'd be able to talk him into it. I've been known to extract secrets now and again from... You know, closed mouth people's. Ah, Nix, is this the one the soldier told us about who stuck his hand in goo? Which Take time? <laughs> Take that as yes. <laughs> Let's hope you're more impressive than soldier's stories about you make. <laughs> well, eh, don't book any stalking stories. I prefer to see actions myself. Well. Stories do resonate some truth. Has Nick ever told you the little story she wrote when she w- where, or when they, he was a boy? No, but I need a copy of it. No. Look, I'm a bard. I keep record of these things. There's a reason I'm not a bard. Uh, My brother's jurisdiction. Broder has got those genes. Yeah. Mm, well. Marina, are you going to say something? Does anybody else have questions? I feel I've been talking a lot. <laughs> you hear he's sort of tend to? You're not wrong. I, I mean, it barred. Comes with the territory, yes. At least you're not trying to tell jokes every five seconds like Aurorus. He's taken to trying to make puns work into his songs. I admire the tenacity. Not... Mm. Anyways. Who exactly are we supposed to go talk to then? Are Uh, we going to go talk to this Geldry or... Uh, Geldry, I'll tell you to shove off, unless you have money for him. 
Kior or his wife Lufina would probably be the people to talk to first. Lufina has been very vocal about her opposition to the current regime, excluding her husband, of course. Hmm. Lufina, eh? <laughs> um, did she's you... the one we met before. Oh, little lady, very, very angry looking. I believe. Felicity. No, I think that's who we met. Something in my eye. Um, For remembrance' yeah. sake, since it's been awesome she played, yes, that is the person we yeah. wanted yeah. to mix. So it was like because eh. <laughs> <laughs> Fel looks like she's gonna say because she suspects you know mind stuff and then decides it's probably not something that she should say out loud. Um, did Roris live here with you? I um couldn't get him to move out. Hmm. <laughs> in your mouth. My baby boy can stay here for as long as he wants. He, he said he <sighs> didn't think he was here more frequent frequently enough to justify <laughs> actually moving out. I was wondering if if you needed to check his room for anything. That it's not a bad idea. Um, Since he left a week after you, mm -hmm. he lived here. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, he hasn't moved anything around stupidly, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't go in your brother's room. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Um, yep. Yep, that might be a good thing. Uh, Ma, is it okay if I... Pop off. Yes, yes, yes. Almost done anyway. Thanks. Can any of your friends bake? I can't. I can help. Sure. Wait. Come on, young lady. Need you to help me okay. bake some sweets. I've come up with a recipe for a thing I call owl bear claws. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm curious. Uh, yeah. Trina will go over and start. Start helping. I'll head up to Boris's uh, room. Do you mind if I help you, Nix? Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I know his. I know him, but I'm not. Uh, See, so yeah, the mom does. But I'll just walk out real quick and give Ilarik a kiss on the cheek. She goes, I forgot to kiss you. I'm sorry. I was, I was waiting for it. And she's like. Mm. She's, she's like, if you don't shush, I'm not going to hold your hand while we sit out by the fire tonight. He's like... <laughs> to be I, fair, she was I, a little distracted by, you know, a... I know. Our, our child. already married. Does the book really apply? <laughs> no, it's sweet and wholesome. She doesn't just write other stuff. I apologize. Far. There's been very limited. <laughs> exactly, very limited. It's no. all smut. We this, know though. it. It's all <laughs> smut. Yes, the most vanilla smut. Like they held hands. Oh, you know? So, so Akatar got it. Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Bell would perish. Oh God, no. Bell would perish. Yeah, no. But she she's gonna make a quick little note and then follow uh, Nix and Karaku up because she wants to see some stuff. Uh, and but all she does go up to Karina and she pats her neck and she goes, stand up straight here, you're going to hurt your neck doing slashing. Um, it's just a habit. Sorry. Uh, or, and she kind of does and then immediately, like once she starts doing anything. No, 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 you, you, look, you look great. Here. And she she uses some magic to levitate the table up to where Greta will be comfortable standing up straight. There you go. Pats her on the back and goes back to what she was doing for dinner. Just stares at it for a moment, very confused. <laughs> like, she gets its magic, but also... Why, how? Okay. How stable is that levitation? Dang. <laughs> That takes some concentration. Um, Karina's actually going to look over at, uh, at Ray and... Be like, you gonna help or are you just gonna stand there? What are you doing? She looks uncomfortable, like she doesn't know what to do. She's overthinking her actions and what she says right now. 
So she's just standing there like... Oh, okay. Um, yeah. After a moment of just kind of looking at her, I'd be like... Oh, would she well, like thanks to is... help? But all of you... or Bernal hooks her head out and she goes, Deity, if you would like to come help instead of standing there like an Eredelin doll... All right. Please. <clears throat> Sure, we'll help. And then we're yeah. gonna. And I'm not gonna make Karina roll before we check for how well she does, but I'm gonna make Gray because <laughs> she's not. I feel like, like at some point I should. I have Smith tools. I should probably just change that at this point because this was the thing that started as a story. Like, why the heck did? Yeah. Uh, roll. You'll get advantage because Nix's mom is helping you. Roll me performance to see how well you. Uh, Look things. 27. Very nice. well. I have a very high performance. I was going to say, how do you, why do you, why do you have a performance? Dang. It's like, well, you're a better. You're a natural. Pats you on the head. Very. Because she's also, they're both very tall moon elves. Uh, Illyric is about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and Vanilla is about 5'10", 5'11". Yeah. She's not super tall. Like, she's not fell tall, but she's still tall for the average person. Not fell tall. <laughs> okay, so there's levels of tall. Fell <laughs> That's tall. That's Fell tall is very tall. Karina tall is extremely tall. Um, Karina is Imagine gonna once tall. once um vanilla, 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 uh moves away again. Karina's just going to whisper very quietly to Gray. Are you all right? What's wrong? Oh. Uh... I'm trying to not make people uncomfortable, as I seem to do. Standing in a corner and <laughs> avoiding contact and interaction is your best choice for that? I'm out of the way. <sighs> it's I'm having to really learn. People, what I used to do doesn't work anymore. Did you used to stand in a corner when no. you met someone's parents that is supposedly your friend? No. Okay, then. <clears throat> and she's just going to flick some of the flower with her fingers so that it <laughs> goes up. Because I'm assuming the table's up here. <laughs> 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 the teeniest. Ray's like a child trying to like, help her mom. <laughs> Littlest this paladin. Gray is the shortest in the party. <laughs> I miss cooking with Bob. Who's Bob? Mm, oh yeah. Do I know the name Bob? Actually. Uh, uh give me a history check, because you would be the only person at this table who would. Like in character, obviously yeah. Storm knows who Bob is. <laughs> No, none of us know at this. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, best that's friend. a twenty-two. Twenty-two. <laughs> Do you remember in the stories about Vidya that you had read, there was a fighter who was also a baker who had her own chain and she made sword-sized eclairs and her name was Bob. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Karina would take the chance to tell her right now. Um, she's just going to stay quiet for the moment, but there's a pause in her hands and then... She goes back to working in the dough. And and she goes and sees how, no, just, Vanilla comes up and sees how big you guys have made the owlbear claws. She goes, no, I didn't say bear claws. That's a, too small for an owlbear claw. More dough, more dough. <laughs> Did you more? Yeah, just kind of watching Ray out of the corner of her eye, just kind of, she's gonna like file that away for now. <laughs> muttering to herself about baking and like, uh, folding bread and or like dough folding and bread. like braids and just different things that, like like somebody who knows about something but they don't know they know about something mm -hmm. we are making sweet treats yum mm. I, I will say um actually with your high performance jet gray, you accidentally make one of the sword sized e players <laughs> while you're folding oh, great. and the mom just goes Oh, that's new. Who's pushing buttons now? Who's pushing <laughs> buttons? Cole <laughs> is. <laughs> to be fair, she brought up the name. I'm just rolling. 
It seemed natural. And then we're gonna and make a wisdom save. <laughs> Where's the break? No, imagine wisdom saves. <laughs> Oh, I'd a I'd giant I'd dragon it, just swims into the house. I've given more PTSD with wisdom saves. <laughs> She's even playing other D&D campaigns with wisdom-based characters. Thank you, wisdom saves. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just really natural, Tony. Natural, Tony. So we're going to pan over to uh, Karaku, um, Nitz, and Fel. In Roris' room. Mm-hmm. First thing you notice, he has a lot of hand-drawn portraits on the wall of people that he knows. Very well drawn, like art, hand-drawn artwork. He's got one that's of him and Nyx. That's a bigger one on the wall, uh, and it's of him poking Nyx in the face and sticking his tongue out at them. And Nyx just looks annoyed. And there's lots of other people on the wall. A lot of himself. A lot of drawings of himself. And he's a very handsome boy. He has uh, long uh, silk, like I think Storm. You were you, you said go. You, you said he was looks more obviously he's a moon elf. So he's got kind of looks a lot like Nyx in their moon elf form, but more uh, stereotypically pretty boy features. Looks mm-hmm. a lot more like their mother than their father. Opposite. Oh, opposite. Looks more like their father than oh. their mother. Sorry. Yeah. And he's just. He's a very pretty man with white hair. I have the white haired jeans of these campaigns. <laughs> it's gold hair. I didn't choose that. There oh, was cool. no. The white hair is just a changeling thing. That's right. That's right. Gold hair. Yeah. But, sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. He's got gold hair. And the list. At the mention of gold hair, just. <laughs> not gold glitter. No. It's not, it's not Galley Boy. So, oh. and like facial feature, like coloring, kind of like um, Nick. their dad, um, and looks a little bit more like mom and like the facial features. Yeah. Um, and but, yeah. there's a lot of musical. In, there's a lot of musical instruments in the room and a lot of books. Uh, well, you notice he has a stack of books that uh, of fantasy adventure books that look like they've been read through a lot. Mm-hmm. And that's about all you notice on the surface level, if you guys want to investigate further. Yeah, I'll start looking through stuff, see if I can find anything. <laughs> I'll look under the bed. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of the ordinary. You... Don't look under the mattress, trust me. <laughs> hey, that's where she stashes all of her secret journal stuff, so... <laughs> uh, there is... A journal with a magical lock on it. Give me. <laughs> Give it. Give uh, It's a pur- It looks a lot like Fell's pink book, but it's uh, purple. Okay. Okay. Um. And on the front, it's scribbled like a, a teenager would. Roris's love notes. Keep out. Next. <laughs> Hmm. I found this. I don't know if it's of any use, but you said he was with someone, right? Yeah, that might be from when he was younger, but we can always I mean, look, see if he's written anything. I've had my uh, journal since I was little. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I have any way of... Eric just pulls out a key and snaps his fingers, uh, and it... what Whatever the lock is... It unlocks. Oh, I forgot I gave you that. Uh-huh. <laughs> but Fel, but Fel that takes works. the book, and unless Nick takes it, she's like gonna hold it there. Like, don't you dare read this man's love letters to, oh, I, to I, Care. I, not Care wouldn't have made any move towards it. You, she would have just noticed that the lock falls open at oh. that point. Hmm. Um, it opened. I can read through it. I don't know what he has in here, really. Um, uh, a real quick care, give me a perception check. Hmm. Val will go look at the other pictures and books, and she's looking if she recognizes anything. It is a 21. There is a note that looks like he tried to crumple and throw into the fireplace, but missed. There's a fireplace in his room. Hmm. And 
It's all, it's right next to it. Kara will use Mage Hand and have it just come over to him as the the others are reading stuff. So this note says it's not written by Roris. Hmm. It's an invitation to come play for the court of Lady Farah Bliss. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Yeah. And a reason why he's doing all this. <clears throat> well, and Kara's just holding the note there that just appeared. Um, this might have to do with it and hands both of them the note. And it's uh, dated about a week before you all met. Does Fel recognize any of the writing or any, anything that would stand out to her as a, a bliss? Give me an investigation check. Could I also either assist her in that? Yeah, or... get advantage, yeah. Fel. Okay, thank you. Because just never... remember, some of you do have inspiration you can use for rerolls. Oh, that's true, and I do have. Who does not know how many they have? Because I have. That's not any better. Yeah, Kara has, has three. Four. Gray has right, three. I... Karina has how many... four. Do I have you, any? You have two because you've used two of them because yes. you've really needed them. <laughs> yeah, I won't. I mean, Storm still has four. <laughs> four? Oh my god. You haven't That's used any of them that you've gotten. You and, I, you and I haven't really had reasons to use them, so that made sense. And so every time Nyx has done something that might need a reroll, they've rolled really well. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really nine. Well. That's a nine? There's definitely something weird about this letter. It's not written in the way that a bliss would conduct themselves. It kind of looks like something that more like a pompous, arrogant leader would write. Not, and from what you know of Farah, she's not that. What about symbols? Uh, the her specific bliss symbol is signed next to her name, but it looks like it's done with a completely different hand, and the handwriting does not resemble Farah's. Yeah, because Fel has a lot of her sisters, or at least like the well-known ones at the beginning of the campaign, had like their symbols. Mm-hmm. Uh, etched out so she would know from her own book to compare that that's not the same mm-hmm. it's the same symbol but not the same handwriting yeah not the same delivery that's very specific and the way she talks the way she is talking in the note is very almost brash and like very forward lots of compliments to Roris's, uh looks as opposed to his ability Which is definitely not seem like her mo. Uh. Being a walking lie detector, um, can care glean any idea of like the type of person that would be writing this, or if he may be familiar with the style. Like obviously, this is somebody who is utilizing manipulation through, you know, flattery, but... Investigation check. Bell will reach out and touch his mm-hmm. hand and cast guidance. Ooh, let me like you. Uh, that is the D... Or that's my D4 add, yes? Yes. A D4 is... added to your roll. Six. That is... Ooh, and a 19. 19. Uh, this very much seems like it was written by... If the handwriting is very sloppy, definitely not. It looks like someone who has awful handwriting trying to fake pretty handwriting. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it was it was definitely not done by someone from a noble house, like this is implying. And it seems like it, it definitely wasn't done by a bliss. Could have been done by one of her followers, which unfortunately as of right now, you guys don't know a whole lot about the other leaders of the Ember Keepers. You do know that they're both men. I was gonna say I know one of them. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't seem familiar to that. Yeah. And, well uh, could be him, but not not sure, yeah. Not sure. Seems um, a little aggressive for him. The writing Karaku, does it compare to the one note? Which one note are we talking about in Carapulse's yeah. notebook? 
<laughs> the one that um that was with the gift. Right. Um, going back to that note and having a perfect copy of that in his book for from his forgery skills. Any comparison? Very, very different handwriting. Hmm. Clearly, the one, the note with the gift, was as likely actually Thara. Hmm. But this is not. And the handwriting in the, this note doesn't compare to um, Nix's brother, right? Uh, no, does not look like Rory. Roris is very pretty penmanship. Okay. It's not like the swap to the left hand to make it look? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Interesting. All right. Hmm. What's in the journal? Yeah. We're going to get to that. Um, So most of it is just things you know. Roar's writing, kind of might expect it to be about like the the things he did, but it's actually more just like nice little cute little things he's writing to the boys and girls he had crushes on growing up. Mm -hmm. And except at the very end, he talks about a specific person, a new, another bard he's made friends with. He calls her L and Mm -hmm. he just, the letter L and he's the exact words. This is, this is not like any, any relationship I've had before. It's not love. It's not lust. It's trust. Never had that before. It's almost like I could trust them with my life. They're very adamant that I take Lady Bliss up on her offer, so we'll go together. Carrie didn't read that, right? No. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's like, dang it. It's fine. <laughs> we'll wait, we'll be patient. The spy character's angst at not getting to read all of the, the, the notes. No, the, the note taker and theorist looking at his notes and thinking, it's fine. So, uh, do we find anything else in his room? Uh, his favorite loot was left behind, which is really strange. It's hanging on the wall. Hmm. This is nicely made. Surprised you didn't take it with. What was the court invitation for specifically again? For four. The so, Lady Bliss. Well, is that his instrument? Or does he have others that he would have taken? He has others, yeah. But that's. Whenever he was going on adventures, that was what he would normally take is lucky. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, anything else like weird or missing? Um, like anything that shouldn't be there? Um, yeah. There is a blue gemstone just sitting on his desk. Mm. That's new. It looks very familiar to the one, similar to the one Karaku had in his possession. Mm-hmm. Except mm. it's much bigger. This one's about like softball sized. There we'll use mage hands and pick it up. Do you mind if we take this, Nix? go yeah but it's not his anyway so i would have assumed not and well, i'm wondering if that it. note was not was actually written by his hand under the control of somebody else hmm. and care will drop hmm. it without touching it into a pouch um, hmm. that will warrant some study later mm-hmm. where Able yeah. to uh, when we're all together, hopefully. And if you all will let me study it, it's fine. Yeah. Sure. Um, no, you can go for it. Um, definitely not any use here. Mm. 
Curious. Well, if there's nothing else that seems amiss in this room, and Kara will say this and doing one another once over of the room real fast, just looking for any shifting. He's I, obviously he doesn't know what the original room looked like, but looking for any anything that would be not patterned the way that it seems that Roris lived in this space. Perception check. Okay. That is a natural 20. Nice. For 26. Um, so everything in the room is pretty pristine, clean kept. Like, it's a little dusty because his mom probably doesn't dust it as often as he did. There is one thing, you know, it's just closet door ajar. There is a backpack that is just filthy. Hmm. Picking that up. And he he would look inside of it, obviously. And... Inside, you see nothing but a black void, and this is a backpack of holding. Oh. Hmm. Backpack of holding, but it looks like a backpack. Yeah. Lovely. Carol will press to digitate all the uh, uh, filth off of it. Hmm. Well, that could come in handy. Anybody mind? We don't know what's in there. No, but we can find out. Yeah. Not right here. I don't want to do that in the room in case there's something actually dangerous. Or, you know, fire or anything. We're in, we are in your home, so. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, yeah. Oh, backpacks are not my style. Anyways. <laughs> um, and uh, you do notice character with that higher perception. There is a newer looking sketch art that's kind of tucked into one of the drawer, the drawers of his desk. Mm. You pull it out and it just has L written in the top. And that is list. Okay, I thought 100%. so. 100%. Right. Cool, all right. And you don't, oh. obviously you didn't read the thing, but you see L written in the corner and you very, very exact part of the list that you know. Well, I didn't think I'd be seeing her again, especially not in art. You? Liz Greenwillow. She's a formal college friend. Raises concerns. Which college? Um, uh, Brimstone. Um, I was studying as a bard. So, why would it be concerning? Um, I've been hearing rumors of some of my old friends and their activities. There's too much of a coincidence that Roris is involved with the Amber Keepers and the uh, rumors that I've been hearing. Um, so. And she's a tiefling? Yes. Mm. And what's his face also said that uh, Roris is traveling with a tiefling woman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, we will be. Having a class reunion, it would seem. Mm. Huh. Don't worry. I didn't sleep with this one. Why would we be worried? I think, I feel like you just assume that anybody I know I've slept with, so. <laughs> Which... I've been wrong so far. <sighs> mm hmm. <Fair. laughs> This is a fair point, nevertheless. I, I think the only one Bell's still a little mad about is Skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> she's got her feelings about Galladin. a different... <laughs> she's, got, she's got her own stuff, it's fine. <laughs> but, anyways, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, hmm, interesting. Like I feel like that was a bro killing me. Paul, Aaron, ever slept with her. Partial. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so you've not slept with this one. <laughs> what else do we know? Uh, I don't know, Cole. I left this one up to you. Um, what do I know of List? At least back from college days. He was very... Uh, probably the most convincing person you had ever met. There was nobody she could not talk into doing anything she wanted with just a bat of her eyelashes and her silver tongue. She, as you can see from the artwork, very pretty uh, tiefling woman. Uh, he didn't color the art, but she is a standard red tiefling with black and red horns. And she also good at getting into and out of trouble, did it all the time. And she would always get you and your friends into trouble, but could always talk your way out of it. Mm. She's probably the only person you've met who's better at getting into trouble than you. You just haven't quite found her knack for getting out of it as easily. <laughs> Fair. But... Um, she's also prone to lies, even like the smallest lie, just to make people like her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does not take rejection well. Interesting. But well, I would be conveying this to the others as we're talking and making sure they're kind of up to date. That was one time. I shouldn't tell that story. Anyways, the library didn't burn down entirely. So. <laughs> and then there's uh, this, and I uh, um, hold out the um, journal that Aurora's had um, and kind of flip through to the page that's about List. Um, list or List? List? List. List. L-I-S-T-H-E. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well, that didn't help just, at all. Just say, just say lisp with a lisp and you'll be fine. Um, oh, my God. Lisp. Lisp. Um, lisp. But I uh, showed them the page. Um, that seemingly is about her based on everything we know. Miracle, um, that's going to raise some very big alarming red flags. Uh-huh. He's... He's the Rurus is the heroic sort. Um, mm. Likes to see the good in people, and wants to. He doesn't want to be the main character, but he wants to know them, so he can tell their stories for future generations. And um, an interesting enough story is something that can get his attention and keep hold. Yeah. List is certainly good at telling stories. Whether they're true or not is always a stretch. Mm. Yeah. So. Well, I just became more concerned for your brother, but not necessarily because of the ambiguities. Well, if they're all there together, and if she doesn't have his best interests at heart, If she dies, I'm not going to be heartbroken. Well, I'm just saying that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she's the reason they're there in the first place. No, uh, would I. Um, Nix, how, yeah. how well known is your brother as a bard? Um, moderately. He's not, like a, he's not like a household name, but he's pretty well known in like small towns and uh a couple major cities he goes to um typically tries to keep the smaller towns he likes the small town vibes Kiriku, you probably you may have heard his name a few times but he never raised any alarm bells for you so you just kind of like oh yeah he's harmless yeah it wasn't a politically involved thing so it, it was <laughs> another bard oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's as much of a jaspier type bard as you can get like he just cares about playing his music man he just wants to play his music yes gear with the voice of hosier wait yeah. all bards uh. don't know each other <laughs> <laughs> 
mean, we do, but we don't. We just kind of, you know, acknowledge each other. It's fine. In fact, Roris has probably heard of Karaku just because of Karaku's. Well, if, yeah. <sighs> it's fine. The next list, then. Yeah, really, I was going to say. They're like, ew. <laughs> it's fine. So, I'm just so <laughs> it's fine. It fits. At this moment, Vanilla knocks on the door. She goes, Is that time for dinner? I hope you brought your appetite. We have plenty of sweets, too. Yeah, we'll be right down, Ma. Always have a good appetite for a home cooked meal. Oh, you're a sweet one, aren't you? She pinches Karakul on the cheek and walks out. Hmm. <laughs> been a while since I've been pinched on the cheek. That's <laughs> at least that cheek. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Val just immediately stiffens and just kind of looks really uncomfortable. (laughs) Kara just kind of realizes he said that after it came out of his mouth and just doesn't say it doesn't say a thing and just walks down the stairs, not looking at either of them. So yeah, Phil wants to take like no, it's like not, but like the tips of her ears are a bit red. She's I don't have time for this today. Um, (laughs) Pulls Nix if if Nix allows, just Mm -hmm. tugs on. Uh, their sleeve. Mm-hmm. Um, you scried on Farah, and she seemed yeah. out of it. You would say, mm-hmm. consumed. Yeah, consumed um, is a good word for it. And I just, I have this feeling that I don't know your brother might be fine if they're using him to tell a tale if they need someone a bard to be an audience I just noting the women in my family or the women like them it's not far-fetched that they would want witnesses to glory Mm. maybe no it seems I don't know. I haven't really gotten a great read on why he's there specifically. It definitely could be it if you think she'd be interested in an audience. If they're trying to do something that's a shifting of worlds or changing of history, what use of it if no one can tell the right account? Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't, I've never met Vara, but um, with how she was, I don't know how much of that is her mind. Um, how much of it's like a magical kind of consumption, and how much is just like a drive to figure things out. It's probably both. There's a madness that I think is common in a lot of us of the blisses that I didn't see before. So it's probably a a bit of both, but I worry that she's not the most dangerous one if she's distracted. Hmm. One thing that happens around the blisses or at least that I've been observed with my sisters is that there's always a climb and there's always an, a, a taking of advantage when one's mind is not entirely there. Mm. So. Barkos is involved. I think we've got a lot to worry about. Yeah. I just... We figure it out in time. We will. We'll figure it out. You're not... Are are you worried for your parents? The... They've always worried about both of us to some degree. I mean... Roris with his job, he's always traveling. Doesn't always stay well in touch. And then me kind of running off to do relatively more dangerous stuff um but this is a bit different for Roris 
but it's not in the grand scheme of things it's not something that I think is going to cause them to run off into danger or anything especially with me going after him too my dad retired from ranging for a reason mm. he wanted to spend time with Ma and it's hard to do that kind of thing when uh, you've got someone back there waiting for you really sweet yeah we really love each other it's nice to see yeah um does does Nick still have like the book uh yeah probably just holding on their hand. Say, um I think if it's okay with you I'm going to stash that um sketch of oh, yeah Lisa mm-hmm and Fel will take it and take a good look at it, memorize the features, and then put it in her own book. Just in case we need to see her face or know it, what it looks like. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, I think we should probably get down to uh, dinner or Ma's going to be coming. up here soon. Uh, yes. Sorry. Kara's just at the top of the stairs waiting like down the hall. Twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to tell you stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Yeah. And oh, with everyone going down for dinner, we're going to take the break early because I have some stuff after this. And we might not be able to take a break after what we get into. So we're That's... going to take the break now. Great. <laughs> That's great. What's gonna not happen at home. dinner, y'all? Not uh, at <laughs> dinner, not at dinner. But... <laughs> What's gonna happen after dinner, y'all? <laughs> this will not be the longest what's... dinner ever. <laughs> Ruka kind of knows what's gonna happen right after dinner. Oh, do I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, it's about time. Yeah. So, no, not what you're thinking. We'll see. No, you I'm everyone. saying it's about time you know something ahead of time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, no, this so is we'll see game. everyone after the break. you guys are waiting for this whole time here we go here we go oh my god this is something more than one there's three there's four there's five let's go the axes are sharp that's a new t-shirt what the f- what is this thing a gumpy stretch armstrong over here what the f- was that Whoa!
what the fuck? You're like a dolphin! <laughs>
Hi, everyone. Welcome back from after the break to Chronicles of Rivera. We return, and it's dinner time with Nix's folks. Hi. So, Derek, who, uh, Nix, and Thel, you walk down to see Gray and Karina sitting at the dinner table. There's a large pile. There's a plate for each of you, which has a lot, some nicely cooked meats, some, uh, but there's options for each one. There's like meats, there's salads, there's sweets, there's just bread. And then there's a huge, huge stack of these big confections that are about the size of your fell's head called owlbear claws. And they're in the shape of an owlbear's claw, but they are very, very, no, including horns, including horns. <laughs> 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 and they are very they look very good but there's a whole bunch of food at the table uh when mrs fanier cooks she does she goes all out and she was like my child brought friends i have to go crazy and she puts the introvert brought friends oh boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she's putting drinks up for each spot and uh Illeric is sitting in his chair and she goes up and after you all sit down she goes to put a drink before him, he reaches for it, she goes, uh-uh, and then he gives her a kiss, and then she gives him the drink. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Elle can't handle the wholesome. Her eyes are, every time, every time, it's just like this, like, melted <laughs> expression every time that they do something cute. And then they sit next to each other, and as she sits down, and goes, he goes, oh, you got something there on your cheek. And she's like, what? And he goes, my lips. Gives her a kiss. Uh, and then he goes back to the table. <laughs> Nick fell like, oh! Nick's is like, no, She literally <laughs> has, like, her journal under her tape, like, on her, like, by her leg, like, under the table. So, like, it, it doesn't look rude that she's, like, writing, but she's 100% taking, like, notes while maintaining, like, chillness under her. <laughs> Fel's like, your, Fel's like, your parents are so cute. Nick's is like, Ugh. Mm. No. She's okay. she's looking like this right now, but like you can't tell. But she like I'm writing right now on my leg. So <laughs> lots of confections and food oh. at the table, and mm -hmm. it was well, everyone dig in. You don't have to tell me twice. I'll take a bunch of pretty much everything. Mm, there's different bottles around the table. If anyone needs to refill, there they have wine, mead, tea. If you really need it, uh, water, and just straight up milk. Milk. <laughs> oh. Karen does like, like go for fun. the milk. <laughs> just like fills his entire goblet with it. It's the fa he, he grabbed the fancy fanciest goblet, but fills it to the brim with milk and just like the fanciest goblet is just a wooden goblet. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's fine. Yeah, it's perfect. It's the best, the nicest one. But he's just like. Oh. Elric is looking at Teriku very confused. You're an old one, aren't you, lad? Depends on the day. <laughs> do you not have kidding. milk where you come from? Oh, well, we do. It's just been a while since I've really thought to have it, even. We've only ever seen him drink wine. But that tracks, well, actually. I mean, I drink water as well. There's just wine is usually with the... Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my milk now, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll smack Eric on the head. She's like, leave the boy alone and let him have his milk. <laughs> and then she pours herself a big glass of wine and she just smiles as she starts drinking her wine. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? And then she just continues drinking her wine. <laughs> yeah, Nix's uh. Nix's mom is indeed a bar. <laughs> yep. Works for me. <laughs> Um, interesting. Well, all right, these bear claws, you're going to have to talk me through this. Owl bear claws. And My apologies. Are, uh, she pulls one down and pops it on your plate. They're made with bread and uh, sugar, and they're very sweet. And we threw a little bit of extra seasoning in there. We threw some cinnamon. It's a rare thing. You can't really even get it on Rodera. It's not wrong. Um, curious. Well, then care will be diving into that before he even touches any of the rest of the food. Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we I decided with 
one of my friends that the only thing that is, grows on Atharis now after the tragedy is cinnamon, so that's its only export. It's its only export at this point is cinnamon. Dope. Um, lovely. Right, well, the rest of you need to try this at some point. Illyric just wolfs one down pretty quickly, and then he starts eating his big steak, seasoning it. Mm. You know, I'm not usually a sweets person, but this is one I could enjoy often. That's well, there are new, uh, something I just thought they'd try to make. I can't take the credit for them. I only did the uh, recipe. Uh, Karina and Gray actually made them. Hmm. As well as this, and she pulls out a eclair that's the size of a longsword. Mm-hmm. Don't know why Gray made this, but she did. Things missing, but I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> down on the table. The, the cross guard is missing on it. No, there's something supposed to be inside. But I don't, I can't remember what it is. The <laughs> broker is broken. The broker is broken. I was fine Go watch until you started it. I can't do this, you Go guys. Watch I can't sit through a whole scene where you try to figure out what is inside of the Claire. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was going to say, I can't believe she didn't ask Karina during the process. But then it's She's been obsessing over the whole time and hasn't so even thought to ask anybody that. about it. Um, <laughs> There's just no way to recover this. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, just broke. Um, <laughs> I can't even. Look, I imagine that angle never got it. No, oh, I what? constantly got what? <laughs> Good joke. Go watch a Thoris. <laughs> Cream. Oh, oh. Claris. Ruka. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we know she got that. She had two kids. Mm-hmm. I didn't say nothing, man. You were quiet. <laughs> I said nothing. That's why I lost it. I was going to give the answer as Karina, and then I watched you just losing it, and I'm like, nope, I cannot say that. I will not say that. It will I, go I south didn't say anything. So fast. I didn't say anything. Okay. Uh, anyway. She, to be fair, she didn't say a word. Uh, huh? That puts it on us. So, you know, it's fine. I repeated it back. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Back moving to the on. scene. <laughs> back to the scene with Vix's parents. I pissed you all, and it's great. The one time I do it on purpose. Yeah, usually Lord's and windows are accidental, and then she realizes it and is ashamed. Oh, no, okay, 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 okay. What is inside the sword fill eclair that we're missing? Please continue. <laughs> Sword filled eclair. Prem fresh. Sword filled eclair. <laughs> sword filled eclair. <laughs> I'll put it in our chat. Everyone else has to go watch a Thoris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just better that way. It's a good scene. It's ridiculous. It's a good I mean, technically, camping. Neclair can be filled with custard, which is nearly as bad as saying cream, okay? <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, see? Mm-hmm. It was just the anyway. lead. It was brilliant. Lead, lead up and everything, but PG-13. Yeah. 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 It was great. It was great. Prema. Stop. <laughs> Anyway, mm-hmm. poor Lore has to edit out this entire scene. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It's not no. bad. It could get worse. That's why I'm saying that's we're wrong. Yeah, team. Yeah. We're not G, guys. Come on. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm allowed to say the S word. <laughs> so, um, moving on. So, well, regardless, this is all rather delicious. Oh, thank you. Um, Gray is just very slowly and deliberately eating her food. Um, how late is it? At this point, it's 5 p.m. It's like dinner time. Oh, okay. Okay. It's still not late, late. Supper? <laughs> oh, please eat up, my wife. This will probably last us like a week if you don't eat up or it'll go bad, so. <laughs> as much as you like. This is when Soldier would have been useful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just crashing through the ceiling. 
Uh, wouldn't be the first time he did that. Um, Kara will, Kara will eat to the point of discomfort for himself. Um, mm-hmm. Just enjoying all of it, but uh, mm-hmm. just leans back. Nope, not another bite. We're fine. Mm-hmm. Oh. You're gonna Are need to you do sure? It. Maybe just one more. It's fine. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to do some cardio to work that off. Uh, Don't mention don't cardio. Worry. No, yes. not we're on vacation. No, I know. Vac- you're never on vacation. We're on vacation. <laughs> when you actually take a vacation, I won't wake you up in the morning to go running. Uh, you have to strength training. It's better for you. You could always <laughs> just come train with me. Yeah, she looks like she does strength training, and that's better for you. There's a difference in the feeling. I enjoy doing weight training with food. Mm. We'll find you some cantaloupe. (laughs) Throwing that at you? If you think you could. I mean, I can throw it to you. I didn't say I was going to hit you. (laughs) Ah. Anyways, are we staying the night here or are we going into town? You're welcome to stay the night here. Nyx has their old room and we have a couple guest we have a guest room with multiple beds. And then there's there and she points to a little cot where uh Cash the dog lays next to. He's got his dog bed next to it. If anyone wants to sleep next to the doggy. Oh usually yes. sleeps there. <laughs> But uh, sometimes uh, that's where we make Laura sleep when he does something very stupid. It's the punishment. Probably. Not really. He gets to cuddle the dog. It's a punishment okay. that isn't really a punishment. Nick's actually used to get upset that they never used to get that punishment because they wanted to pet our old dog. Mm. Sometimes I would come downstairs and I would see Nick's curled up with our old dog Sadie in in the little spot. When she was supposed to be in her, when they were supposed to be in their in their bed, Nix has a. They really love animals. Mm. Hadn't mm. noticed. <laughs> How's your owl bear, by the way? Uh, Full's doing good. Um, still up by my place, so um, staying, oh. staying close to see, stay safe. I may go up there and feed her sometimes, but I never, I never stay because I don't want to scare her off. She doesn't need more food. But I want... This is closest thing I have to a grandchild. I don't know what to tell you about that. That's not a jab at you, that's a jab at your idiot brother. I don't think you want him to have kids either. Those gods, they'd be stupid. (laughs) But I would love... uh, Ulrich just covers his wife's mouth and just pats and just... Bites his hand. <laughs> anyway, so you're welcome to stay the night here. <coughs> uh, if you have any more questions, mm-hmm. um, answer best I can. She probably heard more gossip from the city than I do. I don't really go in. Right. I guess we haven't really asked you on your opinions of you know Ukberth and Everd and all oh, of them. Oh, Ukberth's a bell end. Mm. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Trying to convince the Jarl to conscript any man or woman or even young boy strong enough to fight for his little militia, which we all know is him trying to start a rebellion. Oh, worse. Rebellion? For what? They are under the opinion that the Jarl is a human and Ukbert is human. And he is under the impression that we don't need elves running the, cunt- the, c- the kingdom anymore. Because they did such a good job last time. Is his, is his phrasing. Did better than the lion. So they were going to take it to the capital? We don't know, but that's the rumor. Mm. So Ukberg is trying to overthrow the new king while he's still weak. 
be a short rebellion. Well, they've also heard that a few of his strongest vassals have left. Hmm. Cora, that big loud frost vein, they call him. Very large boy. He left the city, apparently. And so did Wolfram. So they're thinking they're going... This is just the conjecture of middle-aged women gossiping, but... <laughs> Ukberth seems the type to try to... We, or why else would he be gathering a militia? Throw mud at a brick wall, expecting it to fall over. Or yes. add it to some other group. Other group? Mm. Like what? Have you heard what? of the Ember Keepers? Yes, actually. Someone was talking about them the other day. Oh. They say. Uh, well, one of the one of the ladies in my sewing circle, they had heard from their husband that uh, there had been some people standing, like trying to recruit anyone with magic for their cause. They say they're a peacekeeping, nature-loving group with no. fire as their symbol. Because fire is such a peaceful thing. And well, I got one of their pamphlets. Oh, 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 please. I would love this. Is it sure? Fire has its place. It and like the actual, well, on that note, on there it says, the peaceful fire shall cleanse the evil. Cleanse is burn such away a bad to, word. Ben, burn away to start anew. Hmm. No one has ever used cleanse in a good way unless it was actually cleaning yeah. well Arcos would definitely be the type to want to do some cleansing yeah no kidding oh. <clears throat> well this is fun did anybody join I don't know well, did anybody seem to show interest in of the uh some the... of the younger some of the younger lads You know, you you say that the middle-aged women talking is just conjecture. I tend to find that to be some of the more accurate in towns. So, that said, um, if you don't mind continuing to ask, see who may have left. No, we know. Lufina just keeps telling us that they keep getting missives from the capital requesting uh, soldiers, and that the Jarl keeps refusing. Mm. The Jarl is convinced that the new king is going to try to... Uh, at least this is what just what Lufina has said that her husband has reported, that they're trying to... The Jarl is convinced that the king is trying to remove anyone that he doesn't like from power and put people he likes there. Which, to be fair, usually how kings work, from what I understand, which is not much, but Roris talks a lot about the royalty. He gets to perform for this sometimes. Mm. The Emperor of Kamora is one of his favorite uh, patrons to go perform for. Of Kamora, eh? Yeah, that mm. handsome tiefling fellow. Yes, I'm acquainted. Hmm. Curious. Delightful, man. We've had them over for dinner before. Of course you have. It's always fun. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm not going to repeat my opinions about that. Well, that's all we've heard. Lufina is very chatty with the less of the last couple of days. She hasn't really talked much. She seemed down, off, tired. She seems, yeah, she seems nervous. Nervous? Lufina, you say? Could be because of the Solstice Festival coming up and her husband is having to move vast amounts of money to make it work this year. Because the Jarl is requesting this extra fancy exported wine. And Lufina's husband is... 
You know, they must have a couple of my head. Uh, <laughs> cure, cure. Very nice. Curious. A fancy wine, you say? Did you catch the name of it? I can't quite remember. Of course, that was when we were about four wines deep, so... Hmm, fair. Hmm. Does Care would rattle off some fancier wines that he's aware of uh, that may have political pull or affiliation? No, it was something from another continent, I think. Hmm, I see. Very, very curious. I All I know is it's very fancy and expensive and Hjord's pulling his hair out trying to make the solstice festival happen. What? What's the importance of the solstice festival? To the people who worship the gods that we do, the... Uh, the Aesir, very much importance to those who a few of the Adonian church also enjoy the solstice, but it's not as important, but a majority of the people who live here follow our gods. At least those that uh, actually, uh, particularly, the festival is particularly in honor of uh, Freya, Skadi, and Odin. Slight eyeball towards towards Karina. She's watching. Hmm. Is there a way to see the road that passes by? Yeah. Like? Mm -hmm. She's listening. To, she's paying attention to the road at this point. So she's she's listening and clearly not <laughs> meeting anyone's eyes. But she's yeah, that's it. She's looking to see who's coming down the road. Occasionally, kind of mindedly eating. Well, occasionally, when we throw a good enough solstice, uh, some villages have been known to be visited by some of the lesser Aesir. Hmm. Before we adopted Nyx, we were lucky enough to get visited by Magni and Modi. How soon prior to Nyx? That was actually only a few months. Found Nyx in the spring. Just a little baby in the forest. They were so cute together. Little button nose. Huh. I, I know I've kind of asked about this before, but what do you really remember about that? You see Illyric kind of <clears throat> get uncomfortable and kind of look down at the table. And but, uh, your mother, she was like, oh, just that uh, we were, your father was up hunting and found a little baby wrapped up. No notes, no nothing. Brought them home. Does Mossy seem... Give me an insight check. Insight check my own parents. I'll give you advantage because you know it's a lot. Say, <laughs> I was gonna say go for advantage on that oh, one. But... No, she rolled bad. Get those. Give me two. Nix may learn things. Twenty-two. Yeah, your mom got a nat one for a total of fifteen. She's a but. Oh God, <laughs> holy cow, bards, man. And so uh, she, you notice a brief moment of, and with that, I actually roll for your dad too. Yeah, no, he got a seven. I was gonna say, I don't think that's good. Oh, gonna he's <laughs> clearly uncomfy. Right? Yep. Found you in the woods. I'm just gonna. Nix is just gonna kind of stare. <laughs> Staring down your parents. Who doesn't? This is Dean. Half a half a brain. <laughs> And your mom starts like going, and she's like, yeah, I just found it. Was it? And she's trying to explain the exact. And Illyric just. Eh. Nix is an adult. I think it's time they knew the truth. We didn't find you. We were given you. Bye. An old man with a hood. Staff.
think he had one eye. Yeah, that sounds about right. He said you were very important, and it was very important you be raised by parents who would love you. But we never forced ourselves to do anything. We loved you from the second he handed you into our hands. Little pale skinned baby. No parents. All we know is that your parents were dead. But your people were dead. Told us nothing about you or your family. And then we became your family. And I figured it's about time you know that you knew the truth. So an old man had to do to us. Doesn't change anything about how we raise you, doesn't change anything. It changes nothing about who you are. Did you I do, but do you know who that was? Well, it was someone clearly who wanted to pretend to be the all father, that's for sure. Not, not pretend. What? No. Your mom can help us with the body ceiling next to the All Father. What found you to us? Who'd you say you saw before? Old man. And they start describing again, and they're like, "No, oh. before that, you, Ma- you just uh, told me." Uh, Magni and Modi. Yeah. The sons of Thor. Well, that was the whole village. They came to the celebration. Not just us. Um, I don't know if this is going to mean anything to you, um, to be fair. Um, but I'll actually pull out the staff that Odin gave me. Uh. Dad, your mom just looks at it like it's a stick. <laughs> and your dad just goes... Oh. May I? Mm-hmm. Just kind of looks it over and he like inspects it and he's... Well, whoever gave you this gave you a very, 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 very powerful staff. It was oh. Odin. You keep saying it was Odin. Are you sure that there I... wasn't just... So... You remember when I was a teenager? Um, give me a minute. Uh, Faileth and I, um, and I almost died, and they did. I said I found Scotty, or she found me. All right, yeah. So it makes sense if Scotty gave you the staff, but not a whole team. That's what I thought. Um, so I tried to reach out to her because it had been 15 years longer um, since I had seen her. Um, tried reaching out and body didn't appear. Odin did. You're asking us to believe a lot. And you're not one for lying, Nix, but... You said an old man gave you me to you in a forest. And that's stranger than a god. Yeah. What are you going to tell me next that you've had several conversations with gods? <laughs> me? No. Just like yeah. looks over it, like, oh, yeah, that's a 20 on his insight. He's gonna read the room and be like, Raise your hand if you've talked to a god. <laughs> Nix, what in the hells have you gotten involved in? I Karina's, don't know. Not Karina's the hells, just actually. Gonna, Karina's just going to sigh and look at Nyx. You could always introduce them to the four-legged invisible friend that likes to follow us around. I for- I'm trying to forget about him. Frecky. Frecky. He 
appears next to Akash. Hello. Did that wolf just talk? Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Them. Yeah. They are telling the truth. I am Freki, one of the wolves of Alton. I have been charged with overseeing Nix and Karina. Your father wants to make sure they are keeping safe, and he wants to keep an eye on his great-granddaughter. Cool. Yes. That is what we call giving too much information. Okay. And Frankie just disappears. <laughs> he does that a lot as well. Mm. So you have a talking wolf following you around? Yeah, wait, I wait. Try not to think about it too much. Yeah, more <laughs> that, but you wanted proof and. I wish that was the weirdest thing we could say. Yeah. <laughs> and out the window. <laughs> Hugh and Immunin are sitting on the windowsill. What? Fucking guards. Mm. No, don't, don't. Throws a rock at it. It's not. Goes mm. through it. Weird shit's happening today. It's been following us. Well, so over the last few months. So you're saying that my child is was given to me by Odin yeah. is being followed around by Odin's ravens and his dog and yeah. they made friends with Odin's great granddaughter to be fair I didn't know that <laughs> for a long time so I don't really think of myself that way and what <laughs> said is this makes goes, maybe uh, use the invention of yours. And she pulls on a string and a massive version of Tiny Hut encompasses the house. Mm. Oh. And That's we call cool. we, we call it Vanola's very big hut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, so uh, I imagine you are in town looking into things for a and Vanal has been quiet this whole time. She's just been like staring at the table, taking all this in. Seem like Lord. overwhelmed or confused? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is just, and what does your brother have to do with this? I that I don't know he has anything to do with. Um Is anyone else here related to a god, demon, devil? <laughs> I don't think I am, but I also don't know who my father is, so who knows? Are you my dad? <laughs> Are you my daddy? <laughs> could say. Are you my dad? Yeah. Yeah. Or something. I look. Or or no. mutters under his breath, and if you, I'll say you guys kind of hear, it's like, don't make any bastard jokes, don't make any bastard jokes. <laughs> mm. Don't make bastard jokes, don't make bastard jokes. But... Mm. You wouldn't. Uh, well, Care says just loud enough for him to hear. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> okay, well, you're all still welcome to stay here, and I now understand why you're asking so many questions. Uh, we uh, we are new church popped up, but they, or your mother said it was gone when. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah. I guess they decided to take it down. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, they did. That's so picky. Okay. Renovations, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, we didn't need a large church to Adan like that. I mean, most people in this town don't even worship Adan. No. It's easier here. Primarily, and if people here worship any of the uh, Adanian pantheon, it's typically more along the lines of Godfrey or Venora or even we had one boy who had some bad rap, and he started worshipping Xanabeth a little bit, and frankly, we're a little worried about them. I blame you. But, but enough about town gossip. Um, yeah. So, Nick, when's the last time you talked to the All-Father? I don't know how long ago that was. Like, four days? Yes. <laughs> <That was> days ago! <laughs> I know. days ago. Literally. Yeah. 
things happened a lot all at once. And I'm like, I don't remember how long ago that was. It was a whirlwind. I think it was like a week ago. Um, a whirlwind that began with Grey going, I'm going to try to sell an Epo. Look, she wasn't expecting it to work. Right, well. Um, has anything, anybody come by on the road? Just crazy uh, watching. There's just been like farmers going home, a few people. You did see a big group of town guard going in for the night shift or the evening shift. Okay. Like probably 10 or 15 of them. Just the guard. They weren't with somebody, like escorting somebody or anything like that. Not that not that you noticed, unless they were also wearing a guard uniform. But okay. um not so far. Okay. On that note, actually, you do see a man with long, greasy, like brown hair, wearing a very nice fur uh, mantle with a nice, like very it's a green shirt, like very nice shirt with black pants, and he's strutting down the road. And Illeric notices he goes, oh, there's, there's a little shite Gildry. Anyone feel like a walk? I would love some fresh air. Hey. Well, Thank finish you. your food. Well, do come back to sleep here tonight. We would love to have you all, especially you, points at Nix. The dog is actually at this point pawing at Nix's, like, <laughs> like begging for pets. You pets, I will not give you food. Uh, <laughs> This is a big, like, 140-pound Irish wolf. <laughs> He's just like, oh. Yeah, big boy. Um, That's right. Well. Thank you for dinner. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, Benalla popped her. Oh, right, yes, of course. And she seems to be looking at you, Gray. Gray is very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with the energy we have brought to the studio. <laughs> She's also very self-conscious about the fact that she doesn't quite look totally alive anymore. So. He's with you. I'll say you notice because you know how your mom casts message. She, you notice your mom wiggle her fingers in a distinct pattern. Mm-hmm. And Gray, you hear in your head, so why have I seen four women look just like you enter town and leave town within the span of a day? I'm fairly certain that they do not look exactly like me anymore. Do you say that out loud or back in your mind? Back in her mind. She okay. knows the mind talk. She's quite comfortable <laughs> with it. And she does the same thing. She goes, well, they looked enough like you. Are you involved with what's going on in this? I will be stopping them. Good. But if my child gets hurt, there will be problems. There will be indeed. She smiles and, just looks at me and she walks up and gives Nix a kiss on the forehead. And she's like, now you be careful. I can't do my believe I just uttered those words to you. I feel like I'm talking to your brother right now. Uh, we'll, we'll need it to get him back. Need some luck. Bray's going to slip out. She's not going anywhere. She's just going to wait outside. Yeah. And Illeric's going to clap his hand on Nix's shoulder and be like, well, you can handle yourself just fine. Just don't kill anyone we like. I won't. Nix, I'm going to need a list of those people. Okay. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Oh, by the okay. way, it's, uh, Bailiff actually came uh, looking for you the other day. What? That's not possible. Oh, wait, wrong. I was thinking the other childhood friend, the one I sent you the name. We got names crossed. Oh, Sorry, my folks. God. <laughs> no, no well, zombie. In makes... my mind, Cole's bringing people back from the dead again. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I. I can't uh, remember the name I gave you, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, okay. You know, uh, um, 
I don't remember the name because you said it offhand like once. Whatever. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, Arn came by looking for you the other day. Really? Yeah, he said he heard you were going to be coming back into town and he wanted to talk to you. How, how would he know that I was coming back into town? Soldier. <sighs> A man has no stealth. Does he always run through the street throwing clothes at people? Always, hmm. no. Occasionally, yeah. He also kept talking about barbecue sauce, and I don't know what that is. I wouldn't ask him. But Arn is looking for you, so... He'll probably be at Good Bushes. Oh, we were just there. He's been spending his evenings there ever since, uh... Maria died. His his wife's gone. Maria. Sorry, I'm in bard mode tonight. Very, <laughs> he's been very, very upset. He's convinced that someone killed her, but it's no evidence. Oh. I think he's just distraught. Can be distraught and right at the same time. Well, if you want to, you should go talk to him. Yeah, I will. Mm. You said that good bushes? Mm hmm Okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. Alright, now I'm, like, all thrown off, because I'm, I'm like, Pretty sure we missed our window? of my childhood friends, <laughs> and it's like, oh, they're alive again. Oh, no, not again. If they're taking too long, Gray's gonna, like, start just tracking the guy, not getting too close. She just wants to see if she can tell where he's going. Oh. If Gray is... I mean, Karina was gonna go by herself, potentially, or with one other person, so... It, there would be that inching towards the door, but she's kind of in between. Gray like, slipped out, so... Let's go. Well... Her but, team... Um, 20, I'm a 21 call? passive and we're in, we're in a dining room together. I don't think it's that hard to witness her leaving. She's ghost, man. <laughs> yeah, ghost. Her stealth's a plus 15. But, um, Cole, did you get my message? Yes, I did. And I messaged you back. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh. So, are you going to try to stealthily follow the guy? Mm hmm. Karina, are you going to try to stealthily follow the guy too? I guess not. Apparently, I didn't see. So, okay. Hold on. I didn't see. Oh. You. See, I say you would have noticed because you would have noticed Gray walk out. I I'm trying to understand timey wimey at this point because that whole conversation. You would, seen, you would have seen Gray walk out and you could have followed her and you two could no, go. It's fine. Go ahead and do your you thing. You sure? Go ahead and do your thing. I... She was waiting for people to come out, so if he would have come out, she would have... The only reason she would have come out is if Gray started to move away. But if she's this... converse... So, you yes. do your thing. Go. Not the stealthy person, so... Okay. Is Karaku still here? As of right now, yeah. <laughs> uh, my stealth right. is a 28. Uh, okay. He... Do not notice you. Be the first storm? I didn't think about that. <laughs> but yeah, so... The secret. But uh, yeah, so he is just kind of pompously walking, and he actually does walk up to some carts, and he's like, Ah, hello, Roderick. Do you have your tithe? I don't really have... Mmm, a shame. This cart doesn't look very sturdy. It'd be a shame if I had some guards come and shore it up. Maybe I'll have the guards come and shore it up for you. The guy pulls out a bag of gold, drops it in his hand. Thank you so much for your contribution to our Lord Yar's efforts. Pockets it. Keeps walking. This family, he, this cart, he just looked like people who do not have a lot of money either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
don't worry i'm gonna do something about it i'm just not chaotic like the character i'm talking in right now but yeah. sure i've already done something but okay jester I, know. I didn't try when I was doing that character, but then it became that. So anyway, she's just going to quietly continue to follow him, keeping a note of what this individual looks like and just yeah. stuff. He, uh, so at this point, you got, if you're following that long, you'd be close to town. But so before that, we're going to pan back to everyone else. And are you guys still in the house or because Gray has gone bye bye. I mean, I was planning to go for a walk, so... Care would have been moving towards the door at this point, and... Are we going for a walk? I have a feeling, looking around, that, um... One of us is already on that walk. Sure. Sure. Um... Nyx is gonna turn into a raven. I am not stealthy in my normal form. I don't... Ah, Raven. It'll go right through, right? No! <laughs> Just punch Throws me out knife. of wild shape. <laughs> Throws a dagger. Eat me out of wild shape immediately. Throws right. his back, dagger comes back to his hand, Nyx falls out of the sky. Shit! <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, well... Yes, let's go. Leisurely stroll, shall we? This will be fun. Sure. I'm excited at the very least. <laughs> Don't know about you all. So, and then we would just be, I, I would just be walking down the road in the middle, no stealth at all. Mm-hmm. You'll notice a few carts that you pass are people who look very upset and they're just like trying to push their carts back into the city or I'm sorry, back home because they're leaving the city for the day and they look aggravated. Um, does one look like they're selling um, anything of value or like any Potions, tinctures, uh... Mostly food carts, but there is one Mm. person selling, uh, fine clothes as well. Mm. And, uh, because most of the markets like that will be deeper into the town. Right. But, uh, for the most part, it just looks like food and clothing and warm weather gear, because it's getting to be the cold time of year, and you guys are in the north. Yeah. (laughs) Well, and Fel just made her outfit a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Less yeah. It's fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's yeah, right. that's fine. Yeah. Um, um, go, ahead. go ahead. I said it first. <laughs> what did you? That doesn't say something to me. Um, Fel will go up to the cart with the clothes. Uh and slightly kind of shivering and we'll look to purchase a, a cloak or something to cover herself up right um any particular color do we can make whatever oh uh, no uh, do, you, do you have anything on hand with you now yes um he pulls out a black uh it's the fur is brown but there's a cloak part of it that is black Seven gold? Of course, yes. Um, do, do you make it yourself? Imported? Uh, yes, yes, and uh, oh, I'm only allowed to charge certain rates, but uh, he kind of seems like he's looking around to make sure. That he's, sorry, just making sure. Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're perfectly fine. It's beautiful. And she'll, she'll slip him uh, very discreetly, noticing how he's... Uh, she'll slip him ten gold. Thank you, my lady. Uh, here you are. And he puts the cloak around your shoulders. Thank and you. And it's very, you're instantly just feel, oh, warm. <laughs> this is lovely. Thank you. Uh, are you out of town for the night? Headed, headed home. Um, 
The only shops still open are the ones that uh, the man calling himself the market master oversees directly. He has imposed restrictions that anyone else must be out before the evening. And he's been through here already? Or is everyone just in a grouchy mood tonight? Uh, Yes, he uh, already collected his tithe Mm. for the day. So I really appreciate you. No, of course. I, I, I did not prepare for this sort of weather. Um, is there anything in, like, he, is he pu- uh, pulling the cart? He has a horse pulling the cart, and yeah. uh, he's got two kids in the cart, uh, look to be teenagers. Mm. He's like, well, thank you very much. We're going to, we appreciate this, and... No, I, I appreciate this. You've done me a service. Thank you. She'll nod to the kids. Uh, if you have any other friends who need warm clothing, tell uh, them do to... they? Actually, uh, no, I should ask them. Um, and she'll turn around. Do any of you need some clothing? I'm always on the lookout for new clothes. So, and Carol, just saunter up. Yes, I do think your coat's getting a bit tattered. Usually. Well, and immediately the coat that is on him will look a little more worn than it initially did. Um, oh, we definitely need to upgrade you, my good lad. Now, we don't have anything as fancy as what you're currently wrong, but we do have, and he pulls out a nice uh, jacket. Like, it just appears to be like an overcoat. It goes kind of down. And it's like, it's a... Uh, we actually made this one out of cattle heart. Hmm. Oh. So he's basically offering you a leather overcoat. Yeah, I like this. Um, lovely, lovely. Um, and being care, uh, can I do some analysis to properly price this? Mm-hmm. Oh. So. He's going to tell you 12 gold, but it's actually worth about 35. Hmm. Curious, curious. So, may I ask why you are underpricing your services? Um, The market master uh, makes our prices. Hmm. Controls the market, does he? Apparently he just collected a tithe, too. Oh, and collects tithes. Very curious. Oh, this will be fun. Um, we're actually on our way to go see the market master. Um, so, anyways, your workmanship is rather fine. Um, Thank you, sir. And by the way, it looks like it looks like your wheel on the left side is getting a little bit uh, loose. And if he, like, looks at all, Care's going to slip 50 gold um, into one of his one of his wares. He does turn to look. Turns back. Ah, bit, I could fix that when we arrive home. Right. Well. Oh, it's he... okay. And Fel will crouch down and cast Mending. <laughs> I uh, appreciate it, my lady, but you don't need to bother with the likes of us. <laughs> this is... It's it's not the likes of us, please. Don't talk like that. And she'll <laughs> lean back up. Karina, what about you? Anything interested? I suppose if you have another co- uh, cloak, I seem to have misplaced mine. Oh, you're in luck. We actually have one about your size. <laughs> it had a quite large gentleman come and sell off some of his materials and He's much larger than you, so it may be a bit big on you, but it's the only thing we might have. Because everything else we might have is be possibly too small. So would you like slightly too small or slightly too big? I'm sure it's fine. You know, he's mended up. Mm. Pulls out this absolutely huge uh, leather, like, clo- cloak with black fur over it. <laughs> and it's like, kind of heavy for him. He's, there you are! That. Um, that is a bit more on the pricey side. It's about 20 gold. 
Uh, of course. And she's going to glance at Kerku because that doesn't seem right to her. <laughs> this um, one, which is for the material and like how big it is, would probably be about 85 gold. Because if you're also, if you're a large man and you've tried to shop for clothes before. I mean, it is used, but. <laughs> <laughs> Even then. <laughs> That's fair. Right. Um, I think 50 gold would be a fair price for this one. She'll hand over a small pouch. 50 gold. He looks like he's going to say something, but then looking at your faces, he just... I appreciate your business and uh, a good a good evening to you. Uh, be careful, it is going to get cold out tonight, but you see, you're better taken care of now. Mm. Yes, we are quite ready. You know where Geldry lives? He has a large house um, on the outskirts of the forest. All right. Could you point us in the direction? He points to a, not quite where you guys came from, from Nix's house, a, a much further east. It's a pretty much direct shot that way. Lovely. Well, shall we go drop in on our... Uh, and not being facetious, well, incredibly facetious saying, friend? Mm-hmm. Kind of mean. Mm. Walking off. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to pan back to Gray. On the road again. Gray, you <laughs> notice this man just fleecing people. He's every single merchant stall he is taking money from. Except one. He goes into this shop. You notice him talk to the guy at the counter, walk in the back, and he's back there for a good 25, 30 minutes before he comes back out okay. and leaves and leaves the building. Okay, in what direction does he go in? Does he look like he's still doing his business or is he leaving to get out Looks of like he's leading at, leaving at this point. Okay. Um, I want to take note of his direction and then I sent you, well, I'm sorry. I was sent. I was in the midst of sending you a message when um, you came <laughs> back to me. So that's what she would have done. So the party will actually be able to find her fairly quickly once she makes herself. She'll just once she does what she does. She's going to kind of just stand in and wait for them. Okay. Well, they're not heading into the town. <laughs> they're heading the opposite way. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah. Are they following the same guy? They're going to go, they're going to this house. Okay. Well, is, if she doesn't see them, she'll go back and try to pick his trail again. Pick up his trail. If right. she sees them after she's done her thing, she'll go catch up with them. Okay, so, yeah, great. You start following him as he's starting to head his way home. Mm-hmm. The rest of you, we're going to pan to you guys. Walk for, it takes you like a good hour to get there. But you find your way into his... You find... What? I was just commenting, that's a really long way to live out of town and walk Mm -hmm. in every night. And a... You come across a quite large, extremely lavish, frankly kind of gaudy house. It's hardly in keeping with the village's rustic aesthetic, if you know what I mean. And... Sorry, I'm starting. <laughs> and it's got very big double doors at the front. Like he has double doors on his house. That's how pompous this guy is getting. And it appears that the silly man and all of his ego has left his front door open a, a slight bit ajar. Oh no, he did? So before we do something incredibly stupid, uh, what exactly is the plan here? Are we all together? Not all of us? Except for Grey. Gray. Um, she would have gotten there first? No, he started, he walked all the way through town while they were leaving towards his house. Okay, so she's not there yet. Not yet. Okay. 
Um, I just have planned to have a conversation with him. About I just what? planned to follow him to see where he was going and who he was, what he was doing. So, mm. yeah, about what? Well, uh, simply seeing what he's been doing. I have a feeling he might be our needle in reference to our note. But once you make that move, you can't go back. In the middle of the night, to his personal house, questioning him about all the activities. How do you intend to leave it? With a goodbye and possibly a small stack of coin? I don't know. A small stack of coin could discourage an empire. Mm, You'd be surprised what can tip an empire. I guess the bigger question is, as much as he's a horrid person from what we've seen, is he really someone who can, who has been helping the Ember Keepers? If not, we maybe need to stay on task and deal with this later. Well, if he is related to Ukberth, and Ukberth is making an attempt to militarize the township. There are possibilities that this could be linked. Unfortunately, we don't have any real links to the Ember Keepers beyond potentially Lufina. Um, so, otherwise. potentially option two. Those of you who are better at searching out for things, go inside and do exactly that. And the rest of us see if we can waylay him. Also, where did Gray go? My assumption is following after you brought our attention to him passing by. So, go in and search or wait and just talk? I would be happy to go in and search if you would like. I'm asking what everyone else wants to do. I'm just concerned. Go ahead, sorry. Oh no, I'm just concerned of the aftermath. That's why I'm saying perhaps just search and see if there's anything tying him to them, and if not, we let it lie for now. Hmm. We take the Ember Keepers out and the problem's solved anyway, isn't it? Hmm. Coming back to your point of if it's connected or not. And also, this is Nix's town, not ours. I think it's more their choice than anyone else's. It's Nix. currently a bird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get off my head. <laughs> At some point, no, Karina is going to hear a familiar voice in her head, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, oh. t- tap, tap my head twice if you want us to go inside. Once if you want to talk to him. Three times if you want us to just leave this alone. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you actually hear Nix's voice in your head. It's like, I, oh, yeah. I haven't really used that, but remember, I took, I, I made sure I could talk to you guys as wild shapes now. Good um, <laughs> but uh, so stuff so your voices in the head. <laughs> yeah, um, I got a I got a text in the middle of that. What was the plan? Why are Why are we here? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Information digging. There was literally, a moment of. We knew enough about him to know that he was a wanker, and Karina had the thought of just following him and seeing what he did, and then it turned into a major more thing than I thought of. And at that point, Karina's going to hear another voice in her head. (laughs) He's on his way back. Where are you guys? Well, I found Gray. The dam's locked. Oh, that's an idea. Uh... I don't know how this works. Uh, we're, we're at his house. The door's open. We're trying to decide if we should go in. Hmm. Cole, can I see that we're getting close to a house? Or... You're getting close to the forest, and you can see he's got a 
in direct path, he knows exactly where he's going, so it won't be too long. I just imagine these voices, Nixon's gray and green is that just like, wait. They are <laughs> fighting for dominance. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a three-way call, but other. you can only talk to one at a time. <laughs> right. Rita is uh, verbally repeating what gray is saying at the very least. And, and uh, also, yeah, like, both of them, really, but, you know. It's like dial right. up, you have to turn yeah. off the internet. Well, in that Go case. The phone it looks like he will, by his steps, it seems we'll be there soon. Um, if you want to play the damsel route, great. I'm going for a look see, and Carol just turn around. <laughs> going for a look see, look see where? It, In the Carol, house inside. <laughs> Carol disappears as he turns around, uh, and then the door kind of opens and then closes exactly to where it was. So he's buying some time. Right. Uh, so planned, so that I can try. Not be left in charge. I mean, I don't think I can play the damsel in distress very well. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that falls to someone else. I can try, but it, I, I'm no, sort of... X. What should we do? I... I... Don't know if we have a great... Oh, this is a terrible idea. Um, Yeah, I, I didn't expect this to happen. Oh, um, what are you guys all doing? I have a high deception. Working on it. Hang on. Rudy just got so many voices in her head right now. <laughs> Sunshine, Molly. I, yeah. I, no, just trust me. And also, I don't look like myself in a moment with a very large cloak. Uh, you want to play damsel in distress? I can be abandoned. Run away. She's got a ginormous cloak now that does not make her look this female is at all. Okay, we're just going to buy him some time. It can't hurt anything. We're buying him some time. So, are you going to mug me? Is I this guess. Plan? I don't know. Sure. All right. Uh, we're going to walk okay. down the road okay. a little bit. This is coming. I'm going to time get time for acting. Go, go yes. for it. We're going to go away from Deception. the house, like back Deception. into the into the into the forest a little bit, like on the path, but like around the bend a little bit. Um. Just you could take my know. cloak or something. <laughs> It'd be freezing. No, I'm not going to take your cloak. I have mine. <laughs> no, what are you taking from me? Are you rubbing? Like, what are we doing? No, you just need to be on the ground and I'll just okay, run away. Fine. She flops down. <laughs> he's like, help, help. Yeah, she's not that, but like, she's just going to flop down, it's use her existential crisis to truly yeah. sell. It's like the Barbie scene where Rina she's just is like, thinking in her head. Gray, please do not shoot me. Please do not shoot me. <laughs> if you hear her. So, Gray, as you're walking Nix, up with this man, Nix you is see. going to be circling Fel. Like see, a vulture. Just... You see Fel lying on the ground, and you see a large person with a big cloak and hood up standing over Fel's body. That's stupid. And Geldry is walking up, and he sees it, and he's like, Oi, you! And I run <laughs> into the woods. God. That's not, that is not, I am not exercising today. And he walks over and goes, oh, hello, as he walks over to Felicity. Oh, and her cloak's kind of disheveled and all that stuff. Um, hello. I just got, I just got attacked by this bandit. And it's... Oh, my dear, are you all right? No. I think I'm... I think I might, and she like pulls up her. Like I think I might be bleeding. And using like prestidigitation to like make a little or disguise self or whatever to to like make it look like her a little minor illusion. Yeah, prestidigitation can also uh, sully oil? a so? yeah, exactly soil. exactly. Give me, use that uh, to say soil the pants, but blood give, is also soiling. Mm -hmm. Give me a perception or de or not perception performance or deception check. Your deception. choice. Please, thank you. Performance or deception, your choice. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, that's a fifteen. Okay, let's see what he wants. Can I guide myself? Yeah, technically. Okay, also gonna. You're guide touching myself. your leg while you're. Yes, yeah, like, there you oh, go. No, my leg is bleeding. Fifteen plus yeah, four, I nineteen. Would. Nineteen. Yeah. Oh, we got lucky. He I, he got an eighteen. <laughs> No, not my leg. He's like, oh, oh, oh my dear. Now, now, perhaps someone should um, tend to that wound, and he... May I? Oh, please, sir, please. <laughs> he looks so grabs the leg, and then he... 
Now remember, does prestidigitation actually change the physical feeling of it? It uh, says soil. It's so. just like soil. it's because it, it it's using you also. It's gone. Yeah, or it's he, there. yeah, he yeah. Like, yeah. Throws his like, oh, dirty. Oh, dear. And then he goes and realizes he kind of looks because one thing it doesn't do. There's no wound. Can uh, is he a uh, normal uh, person slash like <laughs> human? You know, he, do, he do be a human. Probably not. He do be normal. Human. Great. Uh, she's gonna reach up and uh, cast uh, sleep. What's the save there? Uh, <laughs> I think it's it's not a save. It's gonna be based off of what she uh, rolls no. versus HP. As oh I yeah, that's right. Yeah. So roll for me, Ruka. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not what I tended to do tonight. Okay. okay cast it. Hold up. No sleep. Matt, roll 5d8. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 5d8, I guess. This just went so south so quickly. So south. Unless Great. it works. It's oh gonna work. 22. <laughs> hey. 22. Slap uh, him as you do it. <laughs> actually, I have his character sheet. Let me see. Drop if him. I, if oh, I can cast... No, you cast the... He's... What did you just try to do to me? Oh boy. I thought we would speed up the process. You know. Damsel in distress. Take me, to your... check now. <laughs> Take me to your chambers and I thought I would just, you know, speed it up a little bit. I'm so impatient. Take uh, me to it's your 11. chambers? <laughs> that's not so it's good. This is, that was, it's buying wow. time, okay? I am so glad Care can't hear this. <laughs> I have lessons to teach. Mary <laughs> has her net much. ready to go, just in case. She's got a net. She, she's I, I, what, was that, what was that deception check? Uh, it, was, uh, it was an 11. Oh, please tell me it works. Oh, well then. And then he just scoops you up. Hey, I just imagine. I just imagine. I don't normally do this. Nix, just really, it's your first time. <laughs> He's also not a good-looking guy at all. He's kind of oh, dear. Okay, this is fine. They're gonna save me, right? Grimo, I think Grimo worm tongue vibes. Yeah, Ooh, lovely. Great. She's gonna follow them so she can help saved. them. Wait, I thought, I thought Geldry was it. handsome. I thought Geldry was handsome. No, he's not handsome. He's just pompous, but he thinks he's handsome. He's so handsome right now. I, I, he's was, the most handsome I was looking at, at I was looking at Robe's notes. And he's like, you know, yeah, like, the notes oh. that you sent me, we had it originally that he was handsome, oh, but yeah, that's okay. That he's very handsome. <laughs> I think I was confusing him with a different character. Got it. Oh, that, that actually worked. Geldry, Geldry is handsome, like, but kind of basic, basic boy handsome. Oh, okay. And he's just like, well, gotcha. then, and he small town Terry town. Spell. I've just been imagining Gortash this entire time. <laughs> oh <my laughs> right? God. Yes! Spell uh, is 100% thinking someone has, is going to save her in time. It's going to be fine. Gray she's going to go along with it. Gray is following with her stupid stealth with her net. I, I um, will say, the moment Kree realized... She's like this with a net in her hand. And, 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 and <laughs> Fel's going to be talking it up like, you know... Uh, so you like run this town, right? Like, <laughs> power tripping it up. To an extent, my dear, of course. Ah. And he goes, and for whatever that brood stole from you, I took it from lesser folk. And he puts a little coin purse with like 40 gold in your pocket, your bag. Oh, stop. <laughs> Have you done anything? Stop. Oh. <laughs> Whenever you see him walk into his home, open the door, holding <laughs> fell in his arms. Like, Man, I'm, to the I'm rifling through everything while all of this is happening. So, I will say, hear the door open. Yeah. I will. I will say that once she realized she wasn't being chased, Karina stopped and like shoved whatever the clo- shoved as much of the cloak like in her pack or something, just so that it's not on her person anymore, or, like obvious, and is waiting, like just frozen there, like oh my gosh, what are we doing? Uh, but. Okay, so you're following too, and then as the pair, you hear the door open, and you hear Phil being like, "Oh, well, you're you're so handsome and strapping." They they both hear this really soft from like upstairs. (laughs) What was that? 
Oh, no, whatever. That's what the only noise like that happens. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be creepy, like, okay? Looking He's over. supposed to be creepy. Oh, no, you're fine. She's just looking over the shoulder, like, ah, oh, ha, ha, like kicking her feet, like, if someone doesn't come through this door in mm-hmm. about five seconds. Seeing a foul, Gray is going to very gently just whisper in her head, I've got you. Okay, good. And then she immediately goes back into the, the act as he as, starts as carrying Fell up the stairs. You better be getting Carrie, you see walking up the staircase. You do. You can see him from where you are. What What have I gotten in my twenty minutes of rifling through this crap? Because that's going to change what I do here. Uh, you found just a lot of reports, uh, mentions of, uh, and this is the same business that Gray saw. Uh, it, it's just called. It's called Fletcher's, and it's apparently an archery, like a fletching place, which there's a lot of mentions of a fletching place in his notes, and it's like, seems odd. And he reports the most revenue coming from it. Okay. Uh, Good to know. Good to know. You also may or may not have found a key that has a little tag on it with written Fletcher's. It's perfect. Oh. Nope. Uh, in which case, um, since he's r- rifled through everything, Care's just going to be waiting, assuming he knows what's happening. He's going to be f- have found the bedroom already and just be invisibly sitting in there. Mm-hmm. Opens the bedroom door, picks it open. Are you invisible, Kirku? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as like, soon as he kicks it open, Fel's going to hear, hop off, and she's going to throw the net on the guy. Fel, give me an acrobatics check. Oh, great. <laughs> or athletics, your choice. Oh, I already rolled acrobatics, and that's a five. Whoop. Okay, I think I rolled well enough that she would have gotten her target and not you two. Um... <laughs> What is 19 plus 12? 31. That so, is my so rule. Tra- so dramatic. What does 19 plus 12 help me? I don't know math. <laughs> my brain stopped working with it. A long time ago. It's so you, right. So Fel does yeah. roll out of the way, but she just plops onto the floor, like super loud. And the net wraps up and he's like, whoa. Gray's just going to come up to his ear. He's like, just a little floor play. I'm usually not this kinky. Surprise! She'll sweep the leg. Roll the head. The nun on Freck. Nyx has oh. just been like hopping up the stairs. <laughs> Marina, Marina's outside Marina. the house now, just waiting to see if she's supposed to be doing anything. She's just you, like, hear yeah, no. saw, you hear a sigh. You hear a sigh. So, Marina um, yeah, will hear in her head. Watch the door. Sweep the leg. He's down. Why are we capturing this man? In his petra. Why are we no. capturing this man? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's a jerk. Ray heard something about Karaku asking him questions. So now he's in a position where he can't get away. Unless he's got, like, some magic magics uh, And he knows our, your faces. <laughs> Here. Kara's still invisible watching all of this happen <laughs> at this point. Is that... And does Gray like walk up to him at this point? Yeah. Not the way I was putting oh, this Oh, you brought a friend. Usually you should ask first. And what then, uh... Would mind? Yeah, and, and kind of like... <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing. Uh, <laughs> but she's going to... Uh, because... She knows Gray, and she's Gray, and she's like, oh, crap, like, I need to pretend, it's like, this was a whole elaborate plan, like, we planned this. Uh, she's gonna use her Mask of Many Faces to double as Gray. So it just looks like this was a big old trap. So there's two Greys now, and she's just gonna mirror whatever the heck Gray does. Oh, uh, you're one of the numbers. You can tell oh, your wait. employer that everything is going swimmingly. Which one are you? 34 or 32? I would like more specifics. You can tell 40 that things are going as planned. Specifics. <clears throat> uh, 
we've gotten the money, we've got the resources, and we've got the we've got the provisions coming into the solstice. We know one will survive. Hmm. Excellent. She's gonna look at Fell. Interrogation, not Gray's thing. She has no idea what to ask. She is an action person. This is not her forte. Which numbers are you, by chance? You look a little bit more complete than the others. Is Nyx with Karina, or is Nyx in Nyx the house? Is like in the house on the stairs. Nyx is hopped up the stairs and is standing in the doorway at this point. Okay. Well, Karina's not in just, the doorway. I'm like Kar- out in the hallway. Karina's just pacing back and forth outside. <laughs> Kara's going to get out of. Kara's going to get out of line yeah, of sight yeah. of. Uh, of Geldry um, and cast Charm Person on him. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Well, his invisibility drops, so the others will see that he's behind him. Um, in which case, hmm, that's curiosity. Once we're fine there. Don't your lot usually work alone? Perfectly. They have, uh, what was it? They don't have confidence in your abilities to carry out the task. So we bring in other parties now. Deception check. Mm. And she get advantage because I'm with her. And I can go. And I'm a real one. (laughs) Guidance. (laughs) No, I got a 25 without any help. Ooh. Nice. Nice. You will also notice that he did say the word 40. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I picked up on that. But what does Karakast alter herself into? Uh, he also turns into another one of the greys. Um, and in a perfect voice, just kind of st- is. Where is Geldry? Is he on the ground at this He's point? He's on the ground because Fell swept the leg. Okay. <laughs> Carol will just step over him now and in exact copy of Gray's voice you're through in Carol's head he will hear jump into his mind (laughs) (laughs) and just immediately the 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 amulet will, or the medallion will glow, and he will just deep dive. So, you see a lot of different faces. The biggest face you see is actually not Ukberth. You see Avid putting money into his hand. Mm-hmm. You see visions of him lying to Ukberth about how much money he has. And you see a woman who, despite you deep diving, her face and other features are obscured, and you can make you can make out her voice, her words, but not what her voice sounds like. Hmm. Anything you of note have, that she says? You must make sure we have enough funds to bring in the good wine for any who do not follow the Ember Lord will perish. Those who do will be saved. The ceremony will keep you safe. Okay. You also (laughs) see uh, the abbess, who he is talking to most in the vision, like, cavorting, like, planning, and they are planning to destroy all of the records of the religious texts of both the Adonian Church and the Aesir Church in town. Okay, this is fun. Um, right, so if that's the case... And everyone keeps repeating for the Ember Lord. Or the Ember Lord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, 
Well, let's see. What do we want to do to mess with this guy today? Feels like a good time for the changeling to come out as another. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. One of us. One of us. Lydia is losing her ever-loving mind, pacing outside, (laughs) wondering what she just got her friend into. (laughs) Actually worked out pretty well, not gonna lie. (laughs) She's literally going in through it. No. She's like... (laughs) Hell. um, Fucking cast... Do you have to speak out loud for sending? I forget, because if not, then I can't send. But no, I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, depends on interpretation. Again. You have twenty-five words. Who do you cast sending to? Oh, she was just gonna. I mean, for all you know, Karina ran back to the house. She wouldn't. You would know she wouldn't leave Fell alone. But <laughs> she's like, you don't know. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna. She's gonna hold. She's gonna. She's gonna hold off for a sec. But if, yeah, if they take any longer. <laughs> Yeah, if, she, if they take any longer, she's gonna reach out. <laughs> Don't waste your spell slot on the uh, tank's anxiety right now. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, well, <laughs> there's been a development. Please walk in. Please go. Just add one more. Just go, Nix. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it for the lulls. <laughs> oh, no, That's I said fun. I did. Oh, yeah. you actually did? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, thought you were, I thought you were just cracking the joke. Yes. No. I love it. And. So Kerr will kneel down um, and just like roughly grabbing the side of his face. It's like, did you get enough for the wine? Of course, and it's already been spent. Mm. The wine is on its way. Still on its way. And will it be at Fletcher's? That was the... Well, no, we're storing it elsewhere. It will come in right before the festival. Mm. It will be basically prepared straight off the wagon. Does that um, name sound familiar to me? Fletcher's? Fletcher's has just been this little archery shop, all that you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fletcher's is where we have uh, the workers doing their part. Mm. And any merchants who don't want to play ball. No. More hands make less work. Well, per the Ember Lord, you are to cease all income. You are to renounce your position. And you are to live here, alone. And Kara will be using this to utilize, um, what is it called? Unsettling words on him as he casts suggestion. I have a better one that I don't have prepared. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Yeah. 17. That will not make it. He fails. Um, so as far as the suggestion goes, let me do a sentence or two. Um, he's going to lock in the, you will renounce your position. And you will never mention this conversation to anyone. Of course. Now, if you wouldn't mind... Getting me out of this net. I'm tired. Sure. Just whip it off. With the flourish. That's a... <laughs> oh, and you can report to 40 that we've gotten report that 39 has entered the city. The trap is already ready. Hmm. Good. Now. We'll be leaving. Right. Dust himself off, just sits on his bed, he lays down, even though it's only like 6 p.m. Gray walks very quickly out. Uh, Kara will be the last one to leave. (laughs) Uh, Karina, you see the... 
like little ducks. Oh, <laughs> Rita is full on sh- spear, shield, everything's like, you would actually, if you notice, some of the runes have already been triggered. Like she's fully okay. thinking go. this is going really bad because she doesn't know what's happened. She's ready to charge in there if she had to. Probably yeah, would have in about a minute. Hey. And fell seduction ability? Yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with your seduction ability. It should. <laughs> it has nothing to do with your... <laughs> Tony, things went south. <laughs> Fair. They they went further than the seduction <laughs> you had planned. You, you see one of the 39s do a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Gray is slowly starting the trek back to town or back to the house. She whatever. just walked past from fast green and screen is just You can see with your perception she is trembling. Uh I assume everybody is coming out right behind her. Yeah. Yeah, fell wait make sure Kara gets out too, because swear to God. <laughs> I'm just leave this boy message well okay i'll just say it. um as Kara leaves he's just also going to be casting phantasmal force just kind of subtly as like you know a wave to the guy um and if he fails we'll see it's an intelligence saving throw on this one that's a huh. step knowing that everybody's saying is going to take off after makes it after just barely so he doesn't have a sleep paralysis demon come visit him it's fine <laughs> that just looks like 39 <laughs> that can be slightly scarier is, is gray heading back to nix's parents house yeah she's just slowly she's not trying to lose the party she's just on her way back just seeing that she would have knowing now that everybody's safe also what the heck just happened but is gonna rush after I assume everybody's right behind the two of them, so. Yeah. What 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 happened? She pauses, takes a breath to compose herself. We got information that I don't think anyone was expecting. I had a hint of it before. The other homunculus are here. There is a 40, and they are intending to kill everyone. Anybody that's not following the Ember Keepers. Right. Looks down and realizes he hasn't changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cell does back. the same. Oh, yeah. So that's all Karina saw was 439. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> there. What? Ah. The summer solstice. Winter. 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 In my other campaign, it's the summer solstice. Yeah. <laughs> it's There's winter. Dang solstice. Um, and how exactly are they planning to kill anyone and wine? Wine. Special wine. I have a feeling so, the wine is poison? Yes. Most likely. If the followers the antidote type of thing. Well, let's see, there uh there's an old story I've heard of those who took of a certain sacrament, received the antidote to a poison that was shared at a party. Those who did not partake would succumb to the poison. Got it. That was my thought. It's also a cult. Yeah. If the followers believe enough that they'll be saved, it doesn't matter if they think if they will be or not. And then 40. What does that mean for you? It means what I think it means is that Galaxel was trying the same thing as what my son succeeded at. There's not a chance that it is Chef who is doing this. Maybe. I do not think that it is likely. But he took after his father when it came to his abilities. 
I do not know why he would want me back. Not after what he did. I'm talking but about your son or... Kill Axel. Want you back. If he is the one who created Forty. I cannot imagine a reason to create someone you stopped loving. I don't know if that's possible. Which part? I saw in your head he hadn't stopped loving. There's too much jealousy, too much... That was in my head. What I knew him to be before everything happened. I no, lo- I no longer know who he is. He just, is a stranger to me. I'm just saying as just the core foundations of just love and, and loving someone, even if you stop loving them or think you stop loving them, it's, it it never quite goes away. There will always be a part that belongs there. <laughs> even if they're despicable or vice versa. I wish you were wrong. I wish I was too. So we have. Fear slows down just a little bit. (laughs) We have two days before the solstice. What are we going to do? We need to stop that wine, among so many other things. What if it's combined? If the Ember Keepers are being lured out by the solstice, if this is their thing, they'll be there, right? What if mm. this is what your brother's supposed to perform for? Then we wouldn't have to seek them out, they would simply come to us and we could pretend to be part of it all to get closer. You're muted. You're muted. I'm not muted. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you no, go. We back. didn't hear you, it wasn't picking up. Oh. Sounds suppressed. That's implying that they're definitely going to be here? which we don't know. The Amber Keepers, right? That are in charge of the wine? Yeah. So, they would have to have followers in attendance. Followers, that doesn't mean that any of the ones that we know are going to be here. You might be right, I'm just saying we're... But what's the point? Yeah. Like, why? why? Why do this? Thing that's going to only draw more attention unless it serves a purpose. Is it breaking any of the seals? Or they weren't being broken, they were them? being drained. I, yeah. I suppose power could drain it and a lot of deaths. This isn't exactly my area of expertise. They no. are trying to release the Ember Lord. What makes a god a god? Followers? Belief, worship. Blood. <laughs> Well, For me, it's an entire to town of followers. They were it, building a temple here. But the temple is destroyed, so a focal point is gone. Yes. What if Geldry goes and tells this Fletcher that the wine isn't needed anymore? Hmm. Yeah, the wine is still on its way. No, like when it arrives. Hmm. <laughs> still need to find it and destroy it if it's what's poisoned or well, if it's the antidote for what's poisoned and that's why it's being only going to be given to but he can show up and inspect it and and by, you know? and by Geldry you mean you <laughs> shift into uh-huh. <laughs> spooky <laughs> boy <laughs> um out of curiosity, how would you be able to tell? Can you tell if something is poisoned? I think I can, actually. Um, not at the moment, but I think I can detect poison. I, I wasn't not. sure if you took also that cells. purify. <laughs> yeah, detect if... poison and disease I can take. Um, okay. Yeah. I also but... know poisons quite well, so. Purify what food we... and drink. Yes, also... I, what if we purified it so that it couldn't poison anyone if that is what it is. We could we could do what we did tonight and one of us goes, Gaudrian, and the rest of us could possibly get in as 39s. 
Um, or at least one of us. Can't. So we could have we could have different parties, or if we prepare enough. What, what I'm trying to say is, we might be thinking too far ahead. Mm. One step at a time. What are we focusing on right now? Well, we have to stop this before we head into the woods. Am I wrong? I mean, two days. That's it. But you're right. If this is why your brother is there, if he's meant to draw a crowd or something, you said he's well liked here. But it seems but awfully strange to focus on him. No one's made any. Uh, announcements. Yeah, no one's made any announcements that he'd be coming back. There is also a couple of places we can look. I did deep dive into his mind. He stopped somewhere on the way here. He was in there for a good 20, 30 minutes. Probably Fletcher's. Yes. Mm. Uh, and then Kara pulls out a key. I have a key to it. And what's the plan? Do we destroy them right here and now, or...? Well, the wine's not there, unfortunately, according to him. It's on its way. I understand, mm. but if we stop those who would distribute it, that stops one chain. It's true. Yeah. Evard and the Abbess are both involved, at the very least. Why would the Abbess be involved? Well... They have plans to destroy all the uh, records of any of the Adonian gods and the, uh, the, uh... Aesir. Aesir, thank you. I wanted Fully. to put an N in it, and I was like, that's not right. There's no N in that word. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That so he has no one to challenge him. If you remove all of those of other faith... There's, well, if we're going with the theory that he's trying to raise himself to godhood, and we're also running with the theory that he needs a large gathering of followers, the more pure the gathering of followers, the maybe the more potent the transformation or ascendancy. Nix, how powerful of a bard is your brother? Say it. Yeah. Dang it. Um, he's been doing this for... How old is he? Like 160? Yeah, he's level uh, 15. Damn, I caught up fast. Um, his... He's also been in prison for a while, so... Still, but he's got centuries on me, and I've been doing this for, like, a good couple of years. To be fair, he didn't spend all his centuries doing adventuring. A lot of it was just spent performing. Um, I mean, not bad. Um, why? Eric, who you're a bard. I recall someone opening portals, doors... But can you summon also? Um. Well, if a bard studies more closely specific types of magic, many of us can learn things far without the far outside of the realm of our own normal the normal path of of say a bard who simply attends college and studies his entire life in the path of law, but. In general, yeah, general terms, we don't usually. I can summon. <laughs> yes, I'm just Could... wondering if he is being used to open something or to summon. Summon, mm -hmm. maybe that's why they took him early to tune to something or summon or train. That certainly could be, or. We, they were trying to recruit magic users. The more magic users they have together, the more likely they are able to combine that power for something special. Yes. Say, 
circumnavigating seals. There you know that they're doing that, that they're draining the seals instead of breaking them, which is why we didn't notice it before. Mm -hmm. no. But if they're recruiting magic users, isn't that's also a way in? For this event, if they're recruiting it specifically for this event, you have the pamphlet. One of us could f or group follow that in, get an in. They do know what we all look like. Mm. I know we don't have to look like us. Yeah. But I mean, it's... the spell that was used on me is no longer in effect. And there are many of me. Mm. We do know that they know what we look well. I don't know how much do they know what all of us look like. They would know some Arcos, of us based off of family. Arcos knows at the very least what each of you looks like. I'm also playing dress up. But it depends on what we are. I guess the question is, what are we, what is our first step? What or is it what that is... we know we can do right now? Sleep. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything we can really do tonight. Unless we want to sneak into Fletcher's tonight. Risked a bit too much. At the very least, and not that we have to do this now, but Nix, if, if you want to be preventative about this, in case in case any of our plans don't work, letting your parents know and your loved ones not to attend. Or at the very least, not to drink the wine. Perhaps they should go to your house. It's <laughs> a bit further re removed. And they have certain natural creatures who would watch out for them. Not that they can watch out for themselves, I'm sure. But I think is this home, this town is their home. They've lived here for centuries. They're, if I tell them there's a danger, they're not just going to run and hide in the forest. Just for the day, not forever. But yeah, but they're friends. It seems. Yeah. Right At least Nix's parents, her father, why can't was an we... adventurer. They might uh, be wanting to help. Why can't we just tell the Jarl? Tell everyone. Once the news is out, then it's a mute point. They can't be tricked. But then they'll start again. And it doesn't put them out of danger. They'll just be aware of the fact. Then who could we stop to... Put them out of danger. The abbess, this other person who. Avard? Yeah. The Fletchers? Who? Not stopping the danger as much as just. If this is a big day, if this is a big thing, just making the casualties, the possibility of it, just a little less. If we're talking about things that are directly in our control, a little warning never hurt, but I understand it might be difficult. At the very least, we should warn your parents not to drink the wine. Even if it's just casually. Your mother seemed to like wine, so... If I this... can find out what type of wine it is, I can also make recommendation that it is a terrible, terrible vintage. Unless the wine is actually the antidote, and the only ones who would drink it are those who need the cure, which we don't know. We have a That's lot true. to think about. Hmm. Good. As you guys get closer to the house, you just see Ulrich playing outside with the dog. And he's throwing a stick, and just playing fetch. He sees you guys walk up, and he just. Hey, hey there. Find what you're looking for on your walk. <laughs> just. Invigorating. That's 
more than we needed. Mm. Is that a cloak? Mm. It does not Oh, you probably need that. It's going to get cold. Yes, I was not aware when planning this outfit. <laughs> You're also much further south when you made that outfit. Yes, so it was much it was, warmer. It wasn't a good idea at that time either, but it's okay. <laughs> further Look, south and it lower really elevation. Cool. It looked really cool. Nix and Korean no, no, just were like, we're not going to tell her. We shouldn't and now, tell her. And now we have fur <laughs> added to it, so let's just... Let's just go yeah. with it, shall we? Now Galadin just has a piece of your hair in his journal. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> it's been just a long like, night. Good night. Just like my best my best friend abandoned me and all I have left is her hair. Sucks <laughs> <laughs> to suck, bro. <laughs> I also have that kind of in this episode, Soldier has been trying to message Fel like five times, but her ring of mind ah, shielding is working blocked. for once. It's blocked. Not- I <laughs> love that. So, <laughs> also, I know you said that Galadin might scry on her at some point with that hair. That would have been like the perfect time for him to scry and have no context. Who said he did? <laughs> Who said he didn't? Uh, I just want. I just want. To... Dude, we need to be making some of these wisdom saves for those scrying of random yeah. people scrying. I can't. Two years of Karina's mom scrying on her. She no diddly squat. Galadin's just like Galadin's just like. Ugh. I mean, he's all, he's all right. I know you. I know you need a rebound, but really, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys get ready, do you guys just get ready for bed at this point? Um, I'll I'll fill my parents in on the information we got. Ellard just says, "Well, until we learn a little bit more, we're not going to leave." But I didn't recommend. At least trying to talk to Hjor, see what he knows, even if you do it not as yourself. Anyone you would recommend? Me? That's you trust true. me. That's true. You'd probably you've, done it before. Your... you've done it before to get out of trouble. You don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're... Yeah, the local uh, grocer begs to differ when you would steal apples from him and turn into me and be like, oh, Nix isn't here. What did my child do? You were not a good actor as a child. I think Roris is lying to you. Making things up. Oh, sure. Well, that's also possible, but... Right? Well, and you know we can handle ourselves. Still got my old tricks. He just... Whistles and a uh, grizzly bear just materializes outside. It's a family trait, I see. <laughs> well, I can, su- I can summon them. She can turn, it, or they can turn into them. Yeah. Hmm. This is Bo. He pets his head. Hello, Bo. Mm-hmm. All right, guard the house. <gasps> Sits and stares out towards the road. <laughs> hmm. So, as you guys, does anyone have anything last minute they want to do before bed? I have something for a foul. I <laughs> just say that once everyone falls asleep, Gray would go up onto the roof. I don't know if she sleeps. I'll have to roll for that. But the dark, there's these darkish veins around her eyes and one just really dark cracks and some stone comes through. Yeah. Next year, go to sleep in your childhood room. Um, no, they'd actually probably go down um, to the cot. With the dog. Yeah. Like everyone Care else walk. is sleeping. Care walks up and like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, he's like, I don't want to sleep with a puppy. Um, uh, Cash is very excited. He's just like, <gasps> nix, nix, nix. and he just snuggles up to you really close. Um, just because then they can, um, the others can take like the guest rooms and then um, Nix would be more central if anything went poorly despite Ma's uh, Shields. Shelters. Mm-hmm. Protections. And they put that back up. They took it down while you were gone, because otherwise you wouldn't have been able to get back in. <laughs> but... No, the, uh, with a tiny hut, oh. you, if you 
you're that's in right, it. Right, when you right, get right, cast, right. you can go in and out. That's right. So with that, uh, who sleeps in Nix's room and who sleeps in the guest room? There's room for one person in Nix's room. There's room for two in uh, the guest room. Two different beds, but... Oh, that would probably put me in the uh, in Nix's room then. Rita and Gray share a room, and then Gray leaves. Yeah. <laughs> or Karina oh. and Fell. Sorry. Yeah. Karina and Fell. We're used to Gray not really staying put <laughs> for the night. She's just sitting on the roof. And as everyone goes, gets ready for sleep. Uh, Fell, there is a standing mirror in the room. Mm-hmm. And after Karina falls asleep, you see it start to glow pink. I walk over to it. You look Into in the mirror and chest. you see a beautiful woman with bright blue eyes and long pink hair wearing a beautiful gown. And she places her hand on the mirror. Belle will clutch the necklace that she had, mirror necklace that she had made herself, and she'll slowly. And you, you fall in to the mirror. You find yourself on a in a very nice white lavish room with pink curtains and a lot of pink flowers everywhere. And you see drinking tea at a table. You see a woman with folded pink angel's wings, pink hair. She just looks up at you. She, so this is my most loyal little bliss. Belle doesn't know what to say at first. She's just kind of staring and like taking it all in. Well, do sit down. We have a lot to talk about. How, how do I know that you're you? She stands up and she just places her hand on the side of your face and just in the warmest, most fuzzy feeling you've ever felt in your life courses through you. And you know me, because you've prayed to me many times in your life. Not so much recently, but I understand why. You've been through a lot. tears immediately just like well up in her eyes and just start pouring down silently as she just kind of nods and follows over to the well before she falls over she opens her arms for you to fall into a hug if you want I think she'll just kind of not fully hug but like stand there for a minute and then and then do like a an embrace but it's not like a full one because it's kind of like she's scared in a way to like fully just embrace. pats her back and rubs it and she goes oh, you travel with interesting company well sit you should go sit down she offers you some tea it's a little less jarring than the mead that Thor gave to Karina don't worry It'll just make you feel nice and warm. So, shakily take the tea, and she'll drink a little bit of it. Because even if it was poison, she would still drink it at this point. So, no, you feel great when you drink. She goes, "Well, what's left? I've been checking in on you somewhat, but last time I..." Oh, right, this is when your friend Kerku threatened me. Did what? We had a little chat and he threatened me. Uh, why Why would he threaten you? Might have to talk to him about that one. It came from a place of, came from a place of care. Mm. Okay. He is a foolhardy and very, very... He's a foolhardy man, but he knows very well his limits and knows... He seems eager to get himself killed. I don't envy you as the healer of your friends. I don't know how it got here, but... 
he's he's not a he's a good man he's just lost a bit that's all I'm not the only one who's a little lost the whole group be true Felicity dear tell me what is going through your heart right now I'm I'm sorry. It's a it's a little it's a little jarring to, to be here with you after praying for so long since I can't even remember and I've never even heard your voice or seen what you look like before. Yeah. There and, is a reason. Something, someone was blocking contact. You know who? A very powerful fairy. Do I know them? Yes. Those answers are for you to fully discover. They'll answer everything for you. I can help you in a lot of ways, Felicity, but I cannot provide all the answers. That is for you to discover on your own, or with the help of your friends. But what I can tell you is that... It's going now. You're very mm-hmm. lucky that you are sitting just far enough away from your friend Karina for me to reach you. Fine. I'm sure I'll tell her about it at some point. I trust her. Um, but I'm sorry, you're, go- you're going to have to ask me more specific questions because I have a lot in my head. What keeps you with these friends? Mm. For you have no direct reason other than your sister to deal with Arcos. What's stopping you from going home? Because I've discovered that once I start loving something, I can't let it go. I would rather die with it, bury my claws into it, than see it go away. So I wouldn't go back home. There's there's no love there. I was alone. And now I have these people. And they were the first ones to see me. So I can't let them go, even if even if it's a really bad idea. She smiles and sips her tea. I'm glad you're finally willing to accept love from other people that are not her. That's a whole other issue. She's very lost, Felicity. You can help find her. Help her find herself. My mother, who's done awful things. Fine. When you find your sister, you will have a way to know everything. And I have nothing if not blind faith. Not faith that guides you, Felicity. You have prayed, but you've never been the most pious. You never honored the rituals as meticulously as Rena or Ada. You prayed in your own way, not out of faith, but love, which is the purest expression of my abilities. You love everyone in your little group, whether you'd admit it or not. You love Kerku, you love Nyx, you love Grey, Karina, Soldier, Galadin, well, even though you would loathe to admit it to him, even Kylan, Korgar, even Hector. You have love for all of them in varying degrees, and it's up to you to decide what that means. You have a lot of love to give Felicity. 
but don't give too much that you lose yourself to the wrong people. Some yeah. people cannot be saved with love. Others seem out of reach, but are right within. I, I don't know how to be balanced in that way. If I love, I, I can't help but go all in. And, and I've done that recently in a few different ways, and it really hurts. I, I don't know if I can withhold. I, I don't I don't know how no one taught me. I'll let you know the secret. It's not possible to withhold. Simply to know when not to let them use it. When not to show it. That love will always be present. You just have to find your own way. Uh, show it, hide it, whatever you want to do with it. Everyone that you've ever loved, I see it inside you, you still love them. Even Edith. But... That is, I'll just stop once you stop. I know that all too well. Look who my husband is. Don't know how you do it. He has his faults, but he's also always has his reasons for what he does. Nothing broke his heart more than watching what nothing breaks his heart more than watching his loved ones die. The mortals he cares for, sometimes more than his own children. To Godfrey and the other's dismay. He values your lives more than he does any of the other gods. Which is why he tries to keep them away from you. But he can't quite pull that on me. And I have a little present for you. She, in her, in the air, traces a marking. Touches your chest with it. And you are given a tattoo, painless. Gives you numerous benefits. Mm -hmm. You're going to need courage with your next endeavor. And use your mind to break free of things, not your heart. Where these Ember Keepers, they are not going to prey on your heart for a city this. They're going to try to rip apart your mind. I'm worried about your friend Nix's heart with what's on the path to become of their brother. You can save him. You all can. But you need to trust in each other. She looked down at her tattoo over her chest like a lock on her heart. And she just kind of like lets it wash over her a bit. See if it helps kind of channel as a catalyst. How do you You teach about love, and that's your main worship. That's that's what we practice. I guess I I know this is supposed to help, and it, and it will. But how how do I how do I let it go? That is a question that I, myself, have long pondered the answers. Sometimes you simply can't, but you have to live with it, learn to fight with it, master it. I had 
a similar man before Adam, when I was mortal. Very like you, another was chosen over me. But then I found my true calling. And I see that for you. What do I know what it is? No. Unlike what many of you think we are not omniscient or omnipotent in any way. And if you do have your hand on, on my path, or at least a little bit of it, why weren't you there when when I gave myself up to it? There are a lot of things in love that cannot be interfered with, and unfortunately, Heartbreak is one of them. Your actions were made out of love. Your deal with Loki, your mother, made out of love. Thus, I could not interfere. You tried to save that man, and you succeeded. Well... The only person who can truly save him is himself. He has a dark path ahead of him. Trying to try to keep him to the light. You and Grey. But he needs you both in different ways. I know what I need to do to guide and to ensure that someone I love can be okay so that he can love the person he needs to. Yeah. That's a, okay. It's okay. She stands up, walks over, and gives you a kiss on the forehead, and she goes, You really are a special little light. A little blazing sun. Also, good work with Korrigan Renner. Well done. Try to remember that, I guess. I don't seem to have a very good track record. You... Remind me of a much younger version of my daughter. She also is quite keen on making matches. It's she fun. could teach you a thing or two. I... When the path is not so dark, if I still have favor in your eyes, I wouldn't mind the help. And she smiles at you and you wake up in the morning in your bed with a new tattoo. And the last thing we're going to end on is Care walking up to the roof in the morning with a little cup of tea for Gray. I'm I assuming. rolled and she did not go to sleep. See no sleep. See no sleep. Assuming that we're there for like sunrise, Care's just going to hand the tea over to her and just sit down. Not next to her per se, but you know. Buyer. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What's up about it? You were a bit disturbed after the conversation yesterday. It just reminded me that I do not belong here. Isn't belonging a choice? I do not know if you have ever been so accepted and so loved 
and so trusted that no matter what you did, everyone knew it was the right choice. I wake up hundreds of years later where every choice I make is wrong. And there are other faces, faces that share mine, who are doing wrong. Every choice you make is wrong. Uh, even with a few hundred years ahead of me, I think you have some catching up to do. I have a few thousand, Kirk. That's fair. I would still say you still have some catching up to do. At least what yeah. I know of you. But that said, right and wrong choices, it's only a matter of how we continue on afterwards. The problem is, Kerku, is that I do not believe I have ever made the wrong choice. Fair. So then what does it matter that other people think it's wrong? It doesn't. It's just lonely. <laughs> well. I can at least sympathize with that. I suppose your experience has been the opposite of mine. Oh. How do you figure? I cannot say. Only that you have expressed that people do not trust you. I am not used to not being trusted, especially by my companions. Mm. Well. <sighs> All things considered, I rarely give people reason to trust me. And I anyone? have never given anyone reason not to. Hmm. And yet we're both I... mistrusted. Because I am in a time in which I do not belong. And I wonder if I should have never woken up despite this deep understanding that I fought with everything I had to come back. I can still feel I don't know where it is but I can feel it. Hmm. So you have purpose which means you're meant to be here. My purpose is my children. It's a noble purpose. I'd hope my mother would do the same for me. I believe she would. She's not quite the uh, legendary blind paladin, but uh, mm. she's clever enough. She might make it. So, before you get too down on yourself, that's my job in this group. Let yourself have fun. So tired. Mm -hmm. I won't try to compare our experience on that, but I feel you. Yet we still have things to do, don't we? There's always something to do. I believe the saying goes, there is no rest for the wicked. Mm. Or the unwicked. Mm. Ah. I believe we have some cardio to do. Mm. You look like you haven't slept, though. I am not tired. Hmm. Ah. Can't say I've not pulled all-nighters myself, so... I don't even so, have the ability to not sleep, so it's fine. 
So you have no position to scold me. No, I wasn't going to scold you. I was simply going to offer a way out, mostly for my reasons, because I don't want to go running, but I figure I will do that because you seem like you could use a run right now because things are on your mind and running tends to clear the mind and I'm just talking really fast now. So you lead the way. She's going to stand, finish the tea, and then face him. Do you know why I run Karaku? Everything that came to mind was jokes, and I feel like you're going to be more sincere right now, so I'm not going to say what I was thinking. So by all means, what, why? Because I don't have wings. And she's going to start running. Mm -hmm. From the roof? Yeah. Jump! She'll do, she'll do parkour like she's not a monk, but she's got the stats of a monk. <laughs> so parkour, cool, not monk stuff. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. Nix's parents' house is also not the most tall, so... She is uh, going at such a speed that it is very clear she's expecting Karaku to join her. Karaku will join her, uh, but he will um, full sprint off the roof and casting Feather Fall, just continuing to run at pace in the air <laughs> as he is falling. <laughs> Until he finally hits the ground, probably kind of like tripping as he hits. Green is like 30 or 40 feet on the <laughs> other side and just sees this happening and goes, I swear to God, if one of them dies. <laughs> and that's all. Like, just, <laughs> she just watches it. And then... Okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, does anyone else have any last things they wish to do? I guess that's a question. Did Fel get up with Karina? Yeah. So she Hope Nick's on her way out. I come, I come work out. <laughs> um, you sure. I just love how my D and D party for stream game has just all turned into gym rats somehow. <laughs> we're here for the so, slow. So arts, basically, bro. we all just saw that happen. We all were eavesdropping, even though. <laughs> <laughs> and Karaku runs out of the sky. Like from Harry Potter, so with thinking the, about her conversation Cedric's with Nora last key. night. Yeah, no, that's that. exactly just. I'm serene. <laughs> yeah. I am peace. Yeah, I am I am, calm. Calm. I am a happy tree. La last thing to see. <laughs> I, I assume we can see the tattoo now, right? It's visible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, just gonna point at that and be like, now that we're outside and can see clearly, you know, because I assume it's still kind of dark in the house. You gonna tell us about that, or? Yes. Yes. Just leave it there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it worked with Nick's did it last time. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for uh, them to get out of earshot, because uh, they're off on their jog. Um... Yeah, she'll just look at Karina. Uh, yeah, uh, got, got a visit last night from my god, and got some advice, and a tattoo to help me... help me, uh, with my... I don't want to say problems, but y you know how I've been uh, hurting, so... It's like a band-aid. Um, yeah, and she'll just... She, I mean, she doesn't hide it, It's it's a white slightly yeah like a, it's a white tattoo over her pink her pink skin's pretty light but it's a white uh lock with like a rose thorned key um intertwined in it um and she'll and if nyx is there like she'll she, she's not hiding it or ashamed yeah. of it or being weird about it she's just kind <laughs> of like it happened <laughs> Might as well at this point. You know, we, we, it, we all went to sleep and you woke up with a tattoo. I mean, it happened. I'm supposed to feel better, so I'm, I'm working on it. And so she just. Yeah. Even gods can't tell you how to feel. No, but this one at least uh, has helped tell me how to. Feel less for now. 
At least it's pretty. I think so. Not an ugly belt or a vat of alcohol. <laughs> she did tell me that you had drinks with Thor. I thought I told you. Yeah, she she also knows. Apparently, it's probably in the tea circle or something. Oh, mm. but I means she does have tea with his mom all the time. Got the tea circle. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel that that many cats <laughs> are talking about any of us. So, and they might as well be with uh, with how all this is. Probably it's just like, oh, I'm telling my son connected with his granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with as uh, with everything under threat, it wouldn't surprise me that they're in some form of commu- communication. But yes, that happened. It was fine. It's going to be fine. And I know I'm saying that in a way that makes it sound like it's not going to be fine. But we're doing what we can do, okay? Yeah. So, sparring. Sorry. And with the sparring beginning, that's where we're going to end tonight's episode of Chronicles (laughs) of Rivera. We did some espionage. It's fine. It's kinda, fine. Kinda did some espionage. That and should not. <laughs> that's it went thing. so good. It went that's so well. Weird. That's ridiculous. Bell like, leaned into it, and then I feel like Bell leaned into it, and then he was like, "Oh, she was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody help me." <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see all of you next time down by the lakeside.